Hello, everybody! Oh, right, the music starts too. The accidental perfect timing. Hello, everybody! Welcome back to Talos 2 Electric Boogaloo, the Road to Elysium DLC. And I am so excited to play more of this. I've, I've just been thinking about this. Since I stopped playing last week, all I've been doing all week is thinking about this game, so... <laughs> I'm very excited to play more of it, but hello, happy Sunday! I hope everyone's been having a, a good weekend so far. I'm um, slightly melted. I'm very warm. It is extremely warm here, and it's already over 27 degrees Celsius in my bedroom before the stream has even started, so I have no idea how this stream's gonna go. I have no idea how well I will do, how I will function, if my brain has completely melted or not. So we will see. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm excited to try either way. Uh, if, I think I've gone to the point now where if push comes to shove and I do get too warm, I'm just gonna turn up my fan a bit. It's, it will be loud. It'll mean that you can hear the fan, but I think I'd rather have the fan going full blast and be able to function than just like suffer through in the heat. Plus, I think with the background noise in the game too, I don't think the fan would be super noticeable as well. And it's not like, I, I wouldn't have like a, a noise gating thing on anyway, where it's like a bit of fan, no fan, bit of fan, no fan, because I find that really distracting. It would just be constant fan noise. So you'd be able to just tune it out, I think. <laughs> But yes, welcome, welcome. Lumsev, congratulations on the first. Hello. Brie, hello. Oh, I'm so glad to hear it. Done the, done all of DLC 1 and everything except the golden DLC 2. I don't think I'll be getting to the ending of DLC 2 yet, considering there's like three areas in it. And also considering I'm probably going to spend hours looking at crabs. <laughs> so I think we should be good. But uh, I'm I'm really excited to play more of this. Also, Grace, no, hello. Oh, it was raining there just a few days ago, and now it's insane temperatures. Oh, it's the same here. The other day, we, we literally had hail here, like the other week. And now this week, suddenly, it's just like, hey, you want a heat wave? No, well, you're getting one anyway. And I'm I'm so bad in the heat. I'm I'm really bad in the heat. I I don't function well with heat, so it's I've just been kind of lying around doing nothing and that's also what tiffany's been doing today as well she poor poor little baby she doesn't know what to do with herself she's just been rolling around on the floor like she'll lie on her side and then she'll get too warm and so she'll lie on the other side and then she'll flop around and lie in like a 90 degree angle from where she was <laughs> she's just been flopping all day she has not wanted to play once today and she's usually really playful like at least once a day i have a little like run around the house session with her but it's been too warm for that she does not want to also lynn hello welcome 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 on in how's it going but uh 90 degrees that's really hot it's is, is that meant to be like a, a sarcastic remark because that's like the in indoors temperature in houses that are made to build insulation with really high humidity so uh <laughs> it's not nice it's very not nice. It is very non-functional heat. I'm, I, oh, I, I despise it. I really dislike summer so much. <laughs> everyone, if everyone else around me is always like, oh, I'm so glad summer's starting. Let's get out the barbecues. Let's uh, enjoy the sun. And I'm just lying in a t-shirt and shorts on my bed with the fan pointing straight at me. Like I, I simply cannot exist like this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really bad with heat. But uh, I, I think it should be okay, though, because, like, I do have the fan on in the background at the moment. Oh. <laughs> Referring to Tiffy turning 90 degrees. Honestly, like, I don't know. Temperatures, like, I wouldn't be surprised if it's close to, like, 90 Fahrenheit is the thing, which is why I'm like, what is 90F in Celsius? 90 Fahrenheit is 32 degrees Celsius. So yeah, it's, I'm almost at that anyway. <laughs> so honestly, she probably is. She probably actually is. But not in not in the the. I was gonna say currency, not currency. The 
what, measure, measuring format of temperature that I use. What, what would it, what would the word for that be? I just wanted, I like a word that's like currency, but for like units of temperature measurement. I don't think there is one, is there? I have no idea. Maybe there isn't. Oh my goodness! Hold on. Hello, Taradek. Hello. Jaradet, Jaradet, let me know if I mispronounce your name, sorry. Thank you so much for the, the subscription, welcome on in. YouTube randomly recommended my Oro stream to you. Oh, I love that game, that game was so fun. And yes, I'm, I'm a big Talos Principle fan. I've, I've, I've played, I played the first Talos Principle as like one of my first long running stream games way back in 2021. I think it was 2021. It's one of the first games that I really made like a series out of. Like I'm starting this game and playing the whole thing on stream. And I have I am just such a big Talos Principle fan ever since. Like as soon as Talos 2 came out, I was instantly playing it. I, I love I love these kind of games so much. I love puzzles. But oh thank you for stopping in and for subscribing. I hope you enjoy your time here. And Artem as well. Hello, welcome, welcome, lovely to see you. Convention, wait, I guess, yeah, I guess like the temperature convention? Maybe. Maybe. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think there is like a, a comfy word like the word currency for that. It's like if I think of like a unit of measurement for like liquids or something as well, there isn't really a word for that. You'd say like a unit of measurement, which is... I'd kind of expect a word for that. I don't know thinking about words now <laughs> 2021 that's when you followed yes i'm trying to remember was it antechamber i think it might have been antechamber how you found me themselves. lyriel one comfy lyriel one way <gasps> yay akire oh my goodness thank you so much for the resub for 33 months and val hello it's puzzle sunday it's puzzle sunday welcome welcome no, it was totally Talos, was it? I, I don't even remember when I played games, honestly, so it just... <laughs> it was a puzzle. But, oh, I'm, I'm so glad. I've... 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 Oh, I need, I need to go through and think about all of the puzzle games I've played again. Like, I made that list on stream at one point. I'd like to make, like, an official list and talk about all of the puzzle games I've played, because I've played some incredible ones. There are so many amazing puzzle games that I only actually got around to playing because I started streaming. It's all stuff that had been on my list of games to play for literally years and I never got around to it. And so th thank you streaming for helping me actually get around to it. <laughs> good times, good times. But come on in Akiri, the door is open for you. I wish the door was open at the moment. I, I wish I could like circulate the air in my room a bit more, but alas, I cannot. And empty, hello, lovely to see you. Welcome, welcome. Happy Sunday. Oh, it was Talos, and then you watched the Vod of Antichamber. Ah, that that would be it then. Ah, oh, it's so interesting to think back. It it also it also makes me feel really happy seeing people who have like stuck stuck around with me for this long. Like, especially from like the first puzzle games. I, I always recognize the usernames. It's like, even if people don't talk much in chat, like, I, I won't, like, say it out loud, but I'll see a username and be, like, in my head, oh my goodness, I'm so glad you're still here. Thank you. <laughs> it's really nice. It's really validating as a streamer to know that people do actually want to stick around. <laughs> and on that same note as well, like, it's always nice when I see someone in chat who I haven't seen around for a while. And then they come back, and it, I, I, I always notice it. I always notice those kind of things. I don't draw attention to it, because I don't want to make anyone ever feel awkward, but I do notice, and I appreciate it, and I love it. But yeah, Talos has just got such a special place in my heart. I just, I love this game. And before we start as well, because it is so hot, I must be sure to look after myself and open my monster. I've got the peach one today. I've got the peachy keen monster because I figured if I'm gonna do the second DLC, if I'm gonna go on holiday, let's let's have the fruitiest one. <laughs> let's have the peachy fruity one. It feels the most holiday to me. Like I'd have I'd have the mango one if I had any, but I'm I'm out at the moment. I've I've run out of mango monster. 
<laughs> so we got Peach. But yes, I'm so excited to play more of this. I, I think Xander as well is really excited for me to play more of this because uh, for anyone who doesn't know as well, Xander is my brother. I do streams with him on Fridays and we we have very similar taste in a lot of things. So he is also a big fan of the Talos Principle and he has now played through all of the Talos DLC because he was speedrunning it so he could play Elden Ring, <laughs> which he is now playing. But uh, I know he wants to talk about the DLC with me. So it's like it's killing him a little bit on the inside that I've, I've not finished it yet. <laughs> so I, I want to play more so that I can talk to him about it. He's, he just kind of like smiles knowingly at me like, I can't wait to, to talk to you about this. And I also cannot wait. I feel like the, the fun part for things like this to me as well, like with stories and worlds built around it is talking about the worlds afterwards it's another reason why there are definitely going to be more outer wild streams in the future because i feel like i've gotten to the point now where i will like turn off the the back seating tag and it will become a free-for-all like let's discuss this let's discuss lore let's discuss theorizing what's going on point out the things i've missed that kind of thing and i'm looking forward to that too <laughs> But that's not yet, I've still got Talos times. So uh, my plan for today was I want to I want to go back to Orpheus Ascending and finish this because I only have the three gold puzzles left in that and I'm pretty certain I've figured out how to solve one of them if I can position everything properly. And I think I'll be able to do the other ones. Like I didn't do it last time because it was already past midnight and I was starting to get a bit tired. So I figured if this is the first thing I do, my brain is fresh. I am awake. I have not fully melted yet. Now's going to be the time for the gold puzzles. <laughs> and then after that, we're just going on holiday. I, I love Yakut so much. I love him. I love him so much. But yes, let's continue this. Oh, it lets me just continue. So that's nice. Like it doesn't like lock me out of the game after doing the the ending, so to speak. I'm happy about that. All right. So instead of returning to the real world, I'm gonna try and recover the mysterious files. <laughs> All right, cause I, was this the one I was? Oh, I didn't look at this one. I didn't look at this one yet. This is the one that I've been thinking about. Yeah, this is the one I have been thinking about ever since I, I set a foot in here. And I also have a little vague idea on what to do for this one at the end as well. But I'm not entirely sure. I, it's... Oh no, not that one. The, at the end over here. I, I think I have ideas for here, but I think it's going to be the kind of thing where I need to try it out in person to figure out what's going on. Because there's a lot of moving parts in there. But uh, I'm going to start with this. I'm going to see if my plan works. I, I actually made a little diagram on my phone while I was in bed after the stream last time. Based on this puzzle. First, I'm going to like disconnect all the lasers so I stop getting distracted. But uh, I think I know how to solve this one. And I think what I have to do here is I need to connect it to the laser and the connector. But then I have to have the one on, like, this side of the laser to also connect to that connector and block it. So I think what I'll do is... Oh! I did not mean to step out there. That I just jump-scared myself with that. So I'll connect both of these here. But then I'll also connect it to there. And place it down. And now I'll do this. I'll do... Uh, basically the same thing. I'll connect it to both of these, and then I'll connect it to that connector. Hmm. Hold on. I'm, I may be doing it wrong. I, I have the idea in my head. I may need to block the blue to, like, trigger everything in motion a bit. Oh, like that. Yeah, look, it's doing it, like, one at a time now. Okay, let me check if this is the right order, because it's, it's blue here, and then it's red. 
and then it's green. I think it's the right order. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. But yeah, I'm, I'm always so surprised when I like, I try to take something through the purple gate and it's so loud. But I think, yeah, because at this point they're like, it's opening the gate just long enough for me to get through, but then it won't stay long enough to power up the fans. Haha. <laughs> I did it! I'm so glad that worked. <laughs> First mysterious this file. This is peculiar. Oh. I'm not sure what this file is. It's not part of Sarabai's memory archives. Ooh. And the timestamps are completely broken. I think I could reconstruct it if I had more data. <gasps> Good news for you, 1K. More puzzles! <laughs> Melville knows me so well. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and find the, the really bad diagram I made on my phone and just like quickly send it to myself so I can post it on stream. <laughs> Hold on, I've I've got it saved somewhere. It's it's really bad. I just did it at like 4 a.m. on my phone with my finger and I think I got the colours the wrong way around, but it was about like getting the idea out so that I wouldn't forget it. But I didn't forget it anyway. Also that's really annoying, so I'm gonna disconnect them all now. the noise is annoying. There we go, I fixed it. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, this is the start. Uh, yeah, this is the one I didn't look at yet, so I'll look at that next. But um, I, I just sent myself <laughs> the bad diagram I made. Hold on. Hold on. I want to share it because like, it, it worked so perfectly and I'm actually quite proud of myself. Oh, where did I... Where did I send this to? I'm such a disorganized person because what I do when I want to send files to myself is um, I have a little Discord server that is, I am the only member of it and I have different channels in there and I use that to send files to myself and transfer files. But my problem is I, I load up the, the server on my phone and then I just send it Maya. in whichever, whichever section I was in last and it's never the one I should send it in. Like, I just sent this one in my data backups file. <laughs> Where I keep my, 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 my magic harp splash uh, code if I forget my login details. Also, Gigi, hello! Meow! Thank you so much for the resub for 27 months! Oh my goodness. That's so long. That's... Hold on, that's... I was trying to, it's 24, 2 years and 3 months. I don't know why that took me so long. That's probably not a good sign. Hmm. Right, but let me just save this file. You can be dfgfdg.png. And this is the diagram I made on my phone at 4am when I could not stop thinking about this game and I was trying to solve it in my mind. <laughs> this is what I came up with. It's so messy. It's so messy, but it actually worked out exactly how I like imagined it in my mind. So I feel very smart. I feel like a genius right now. I don't, I don't even think the colors are the right way around. Like I might have to like rotate it or like flip it or something but I, I i can't believe it actually worked i'm i'm genuinely so proud of myself <laughs> but i really love the lasers i love the laser puzzles so much ah uh, anyways good luck you'll be lurking oh thank you for the luck i hope you have a good evening and artem the plan for today is uh, i'm trying to do the the three gold puzzles at the end of dlc one and then the plan is I jump into DLC 2 and stare at crabs for an hour and maybe also do puzzles, but I'm, I'm mostly thinking about the crabs. I love those crabs. <laughs> but yeah, the plan is uh, hopefully finish this completely. I also, I think I'm missing some QR codes somewhere too, because I didn't get the achievement for getting all the QR codes, so I need to look for that as well. So I, I want to finish this and then move on to two, but that, that's as far as my plan's gotten. Right, let's have a look at this one. This one is Hysteris, Hysteresis. 
Oh, it's moving. Oh, it's moving. Oh, okay, okay. Time to test things out. This is going to be about blocking things at the right time, I can imagine. I wonder if I can get... Oh, there's a red laser there as well. Ooh. Okay, right, the, the logical thing to do to begin with is just see what happens to that. I do that. Oh! And then that did that. So it's going to be about blocking it at the right time. I presume, like, setting it up over this side. But, like, because it kind of stops for a bit at the end, like, here. If I do it there, it blocks it for quite a while. And then if I do the same on this end, on this side, it also block it for quite a while again. Right, I haven't even like fully looked out here as well. Right, to get through there, it has to be red. That's not red for long enough. Before it turns green. Hmm. Yeah, when that's disabled, that turns around, it turns the lasers. Yeah, I just need to buy more time. If I put it like around here, then it'll stay blocked for quite a while, I think. Because it'll block it with both the main laser and the connected laser. That should give it enough time, maybe? Maybe not quite enough. Let's try it again. That keeps the blue connected for quite a while. Hmm. Oh, I think I'm a bit too quiet. Uh, yeah, I, th I think it's going to be me being quiet versus the game being loud, because I, I, I did turn down a lot of my mic stuff to try and... I put some filters on to try and avoid the, the sound of my fan in the background, but I, I think I should just... Okay, hopefully this is a bit better. Hopefully you can hear me better in comparison to the game now. <laughs> I, I turned it down hoping it would help, but I didn't think to compare that to the game sound too. So let's try like this. Is this is this a little better? If I can turn the game down as well, if needed. But yeah, I changed a bunch of settings because of my fan. Okay, glad that's better. But yeah, let me know if things do get uh, too loud game-wise too. It's really hard like to position my mic in a way that doesn't pick up the fan super loud as well. Like, because that blocks that for quite a while. And like, it does like a little wiggle like that, so we can use that wiggle. Because it takes a while to like fully connect it, so if we buy time by just like disconnecting it, a little longer. Right, we do the boom boom boom. Let's see if this is long enough to open the door. No, it's 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 wiggling too much there. If I bring the blue closer like that, this might work. Let test. Let's let's watch it. So the blue's gone. The blue's it, it's turning, yeah, it's, it's turning too soon and blocking the red laser before it has time to open it. So it needs to be blocked a little longer. Let's try that. Yeah, it's blocked. No, it, I don't think it's quite long enough to open it. I don't think it's quite long enough. Let's see, let's watch it again, see if there's, there would be time to get through the door. 
No, it's not opening. It's it's not staying disconnected for long enough. Hmm. Oh, unless if I if I go from like an angle like here. I keep walking through the doors. If I do an angle from here. It might be blocked for longer. So like this, like right on the ends. This might work, because it it blocks it. I'm not sure if that would work or not. Let's try it. Look at this here. Right, so that blocks that one for ages. Put this slightly at the side as well, then. Like here. See, that's blocked. Oh, not quite. No. But yeah, that blocks it for way longer. Let's see if it's long enough. <laughs> this is a really interesting one. Yes, it is just long enough. Is this one long enough? Let's see. Yes, that is just long. I've, I've got it. I've got it. Ha ha! I've got it. I've got it. Yes! Oh, I'm so proud! got it oh this should not have worked oh not the intended solution well i it worked so it is it is my solution therefore i think it is definitely intended because <laughs> i made it work like it blocked it for long enough there probably is a a much neater way of doing this but i i like this method it's just about blocking it for long enough that the door can open I think I accomplished that. I wonder what else could be done. Also, RBC as well, welcome! If you're deaf, I don't know if you're fully deaf or just hard of hearing, but uh, I'm, I'm sorry if you're fully deaf and I'm, I'm speaking to say hello, but welcome. I also love puzzles. I like I like how I did that though. I'll I'll think I'll think more about it afterwards, undoubtedly. Alright, second file. Alright. I think if you find one more, we can make this work. It'll Jeez. probably just turn out to be some old readme file someone forgot in there. Be so funny if it's a file that just says error could not convert hex to text. <laughs> Thank you, Bree. I don't, oh, because oh, what was it called? Hysteresis? What, what is the definition? Let's have a look. Because the, the only defini definition I have in the dictionary is uh, hysteria, which is about extreme or uncontrollable emotion or excitement or a mental disorder, which is a de definition in which a person converts... Uh, psychological stress into physical symptoms. So, uh, our dependence on of the state of a system on its history. Ooh. Hmm. I'll think about that afterwards. I'll probably have more of a think about that puzzle while I'm lying in bed at 4am tonight, <laughs> knowing me. <laughs> but uh, I made it work, and I like my solution, so let's let's try this one, uh, step by step. I, I did poke my nose in here before, so let's, let's poke my nose in again and see what's going on in here. Right, because that... Hmm... It closes that, but it opens this blue. Hmm. I'm 
Oh, hold on a second. Hold on, I want to check something. Oh, it's to the side like that. Oh. Oh, I had a moment of, oh, I wonder. I wonder if. I think I know what I have to do. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. I need to set everything up over here. I need to set everything up on this side to activate everything. Oh, but then it's gonna interrupt if I do it like this. Hold on, I think I know what I'm doing. Uh, also, thank you for the follow. Can can someone post a thank you for the... Oh, I, I guess the bot did the thank you as well. <laughs> hmm. Right, because like, if I do this, then I press the button, I can like connect these. After like setting everything up, if I can figure out a way I can make everything connect from in here and I don't need these side lasers then. I can like, how can I, how do I open this gate? How do I, how do I activate this gate? That's what I need to figure out here. Like if I can open this gate and then connect both of the lasers like from this side so I don't need these original. Oh, that's just the connector for the door. I don't need that. I can I can come in through the, the blue side for now. Right, so that's activated that blue laser there. If if I do that. Yeah, if I can oh, if I can get them all connected around. Ooh. Hmm. Like, so if I do that. And this. here but I'm oh I need to connect the red one first I need to connect the I, I need to connect the red one first so instead of the blue connecting like this I need to start with the red actually I have an idea that I hope will work. It involves me just standing in front of lasers. All right, yeah, that's that's blocking that off at the moment. Can I make those meet like on the button? Can I make these connect so that it's like at the button? I don't know if I can. <laughs> Not quite. I think that's the closest I can get. All right, let me let me play around. Right, because these are connected to both of these now. Like if I if I do that, because the the blue ends up breaking it like that. I need a way to. All right, I'm gonna try it. Just disconnecting the blue entirely. And then if I do that, that'll open that gate. But it's still not connected here. Why do I still, hold on, why do I? Hmm. I don't need to connect this on this side anymore. Oh no, I do, because I need the, the red laser. Oh, but it's like, if I can open that, then I can use that red laser. So I'm like, so now I do the switch, but then I'm gonna lock myself out of here. Let's try it. I can, I can open it again if I need. All right, so I do that. I open this, opens the gate. The gate's broken again. Because it's not connected to that. No, the gate's still open. The gate stays open because I connected it through this laser. Ha ha, ha ha, okay, progress. Just, um, 
<laughs> three more to go. Yay. Yay. Oh, and I'm going to have to break it as soon as I do that as well. Breaks that. Hold on. Hmm. Because the problem is they're going to keep breaking each other like this. Oh, but maybe if I set things up properly, it'll be okay. No, because I, I need a way to... If only I had, like, a cube or something that I could put on there while I'm breaking this. I really wonder if there is an angle I can get them at. I don't think there is. Unless I go, like, the opposite way? If I set this up from over here and then set this one up over here. It's just, like, fully blocked like this now. Can I make this work? Is it connected? It's connected to... Yeah, they're connected to everything they need to be. Let's see if I can make this work. Right, I need to start with red. It's going to break the blue. Oh, I guess I just like standing here. Breaks the blue, but then it's going to break all the red lasers as well, so this doesn't quite work. Mm. Hmm. I really wish I could bring these through with me. It would make things very easy. But then I guess it wouldn't be a puzzle. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Let me think about this a bit more as well. But yeah, I, I really love the solution I did for clockwork. I got the super neat solution for clockwork. I'm... I'm definitely going to have a think about the other one, try to make that work in a neater way afterwards, but I'm, I'm still quite proud of my unintended solution as well. <laughs> right, the problem is all the crossing over in this. Hmm. this so we can get in. Look. That is a wall. Let's have a look up here. This, this gate is red, and then this one is blue, and then this one is red, and then I'm... and then that one is blue. So it's all about figuring out a way to... make it alternate in a way that doesn't break the connection it's going but it's the, the hard part of that is the fact that these lasers are on the complete opposite sides hmm hmm and because I can't bring the connectors in like if I could just connect the lasers to the connect these to the lasers that are inside it would make it so easy <gasps> wait oh maybe I'm doing this wrong maybe I'm doing this the wrong way around Maybe what I actually have to do is connect them the opposite way. No, I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to try it anyway. It may not work. It may be a silly, silly solution. But if it works, then it might be a solution. If I do that. We've got lasers of the wrong colours, but what if I do that? Many lasers all of the wrong colours. I'm doing it. No, they definitely need to be the other way, but it's... Hmm. 
Well, I only need one of these to get in. I only need one door that I can get in, so that's not the problem. Also, Lyra, hello! Welcome, welcome! Ah, uh, just know that if I need to run because the door's closed too quickly, that it's not intended. Well, I, I didn't even have to run. I just stepped through in the moment that it was available, so it, it didn't feel like a, a super wrong solution. But yeah, I, I know like there's, there's obviously like a very neat contained way to do it, but I still solved it. The power of thinking outside the box. Sometimes it is so, so very outside the box. Then it's still not connected with the blue because I didn't connect the connector. Wait, unless I can connect this to... Oh, I've got an idea! I've got an idea! Connected to both of them. What if I just connect it to both? If I just connect it to both of these two, then I'll do this connected to the red. Block this. Nah. I was, I was gonna be like, I wonder if I can then connect this to the blue by blocking the red laser somehow, but I, I can't do that from where I am. Like, if I could block the red from there, then it will connect. No, I, I need to connect it. No, it, it wouldn't work like this. Hmm. Hmm. It's a very interesting one. It's so interesting. Yeah, the, this part of the DLC has a very pronounced theme. It does. It's... It's about like everything, like taking it in turns. Like one thing happens and then another thing happens, then another thing happens. It's about like creating the sequence and letting the sequence play out. But I, I need to figure out what the sequence is before I can do that. Like, <laughs> like it's uh, red first here and then blue, then red, then blue, then red. I need to figure out how I can switch between the lasers in that situation. So interesting. Hmm. So once I can get that boost for the red there, then it's going. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna just see what happens when I do stuff. I'm gonna go for a Try stuff, see what happens kind of approach. Let's keep this open. So we've got the blue laser on this side, and now we've got the red coming through. Now if I do that, that connects the red. But the blue is not connected. Hold on. Red's connected. The blue, yeah, the blue doesn't connect down enough. It needs the, the jump start from here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so... The fact that these are covered by a this little gate as well means I can't connect directly to them. Like these are very clearly intended to just be stuck with these lasers. But 
but if there's a way I can... Hmm. Hmm, let's have a look again. Yeah, I definitely can't reach that angle. Yeah, definitely can't reach that. They've made sure that is very unselectable. Right. This one is so interesting. Ticking is very distracting. Go sit over there, please. Hmm. Yeah, this is such a tricky one. I love it. I love this. I must figure out your secrets. The fact that this can be closed off is really interesting to me. I think this is going to be a situation of having connectors connected to multiple things, but figuring out a way to... to almost block them off until they're needed? But the problem with that is how to jumpstart the whole sequence. How to get the sequence started, because everything's on the same level here. They're just going to block each other off. It's like, if I can figure out a way to... To have the, the red one be the, the dominant laser, so to speak, just to kickstart that one and then have this one kick into action right after it, that would be very nice. Hmm. Need to connect it to the door. What about that? Right, I'm using the, the blue as the door this whole time. I don't know why I'm always entering through this side. I'm just kind of like not even considering the red for entering. Maybe that's what I have to do. See the thing is, I can I can block the laser for a little bit. But then not in time to like kickstart this. I don't think. I don't think. No, it's it's not long enough to like activate it, so it's probably not that. Also, Diva, hello! Thank you for the head pad. Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. I'm doing an incredibly difficult puzzle at the moment. I'm determined. I'm determined to figure it out, but uh, I feel like I'm just trying the same things at the moment. No, that's that's a gate there. I can't. Hold on, thought, idea. After this is connected to the red, I wonder if I can then use that as a red laser and not have to connect this at all. I'm gonna try, connect red, red, red. like that. Like it's blocked to begin with, but... Hmm. Oh, I've got to actually flip the switch before I did this. I'm silly. I gotta flip the switch on this side so I can actually get in. I don't know if this is going to do anything 
if anything. But I want to give it a try at least. It's like, if I've got this. Yeah, that's not going to be for long enough. Oh, if only the gate actually disabled the blue itself, like the blue laser. to open the gate before it will then be active. Oh, hold on. What if I just connect this to both of these? Hmm. Okay, I'm in the way of that beam there, but what if? What if? Right at the moment. Hmm, no. Still kind of needs the blue laser, I think. Hmm. See, my problem with puzzles like this is uh, I'm very good at ones where I can just, like, trial and error things. I'm really bad at things where I have to plan it out and think ahead. <laughs> so it's, like, my, my biggest weakness with puzzle games. It's also why I'm really bad at strategy games. I need to have, like, an active solution as opposed to, like, something I have to plan out five steps in advance. I, my brain doesn't like the thinking ahead part, but I'm, I'm still determined. I'm still determined to do it. <laughs> Ah. I did it perfect with, with clockwork somehow, but that was like, there wasn't so much planning in that one. It was like, I just needed to get from A to B to C, and they were all the exact same thing, so I just figured out how to get through. And I was like, well, if I can time it so they're blocking each other, then I can get through. And then I just do that for all three of them. And like, thankfully, like for that level two, the way it's set up as you step in, it's giving you the example of how the, the lasers block each other, like going around in a circle. Without that, it would have taken me way longer to solve it. But here it just gives you two connectors and goes, here you go, have fun. Cause see, in my mind, doing something like this feels like it makes sense, but they just, they just block each other. And because of the, the shields because of the walls in the way I can't even target these ones without standing here and then if I'm standing here I can't block them <laughs> uh, hmm. oh hold on actually 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 Right, I've got all of that connected with the red now. Can I now remove that? Oh, I could do, but I still need to get in the other side, so I'm going to have to... No, so I'd, I'd have to flip the switch for the blue, which would then disable that laser to get in. No, okay. I'll shut myself in. 
But that opens. Oh, but this doesn't have the red again. Oh, but that's still connected to the blue. Oh. Oh, but then as soon as I close this, it's, I'm going to lose it again. So I've shut myself in here. So I do still need that one to be connected to here. all blocked again because it's back at the start i feel like i made a little bit of progress but i i don't i still don't quite have everything i need here it's uh, i wish i could bring this through here that would be great it's doing that it's like they block each other out but i i need them both connected with each other I wonder if you can soft lock in this puzzle. I don't think you can because the fact that the connectors are out here means that if you've gone in a doorway, then you can always get out of that doorway because you can't move the connector without going out. So you, you can block everything off with the switch, but I, I don't think you can soft lock yourself, which is quite nice. Ah, uh, it's... <sighs> Maybe I do place them the other way around. Maybe, maybe I do place them the other way around. Maybe I place this one over here. I place this one over here. They're blocking each other even more, but that means I can control it better. That means I can control which one is going at a time. Like, I do this. No, the blue still, like, blocks it there. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. Very interesting. Ah. Hmm. Oh. Fascinating watching me work on this puzzle. I'm trying all the same things you tried. Oh, nice. the red more. <laughs> hmm. It's a shame there's nothing I can connect to closer to the laser that will then be the start of the block. Oh, can I connect it to the laser itself as well? Connecting it to both lasers. This might do it, actually. Possibly. Oh, I'm, they're, they're flashing on and off. I'm, I've made some sort of sequence here. I have somehow made some sort of sequence. Blocking and unblocking. This is, this is going to be the, the key. I just need to figure out what I did. It's like alternating between them when it's connected to both of the lasers, so... one to all of them on that side. Hmm. It's 
not connecting the blue, but I'm gonna see what happens if I do this. I may actually figure out a way to soft lock myself in this puzzle. Because I've made such a mess of lasers at the moment. But I want to see if this might work. I do this. So we got that. And then if I can bring in the blue by blocking the red off. Now the blue is being like fully blocked by the red because of me connecting it to the red there. I need to figure out how I did what I did. That's the that's the main problem here. I did. <laughs> what is causing that to happen? What if I? How did I manage to make that happen? be my designated laser friend. I think if I want to pull this off, I might have to tuck you in the middle. Like that, maybe. reach everything when it's this far back. Hmm. Yeah, honestly, I really like the little clicky sounds of the connectors. I think it's very cute. Right, just making sure it's actually connecting to everything. open that, but then it closes it again. Okay. Hmm. eventually. Because I don't want this connected with the... Hmm. I'm not even sure what I'm thinking at the moment. Like, th this is... It's it's so interesting. Let me try and, like, work my way back. Like, what I have to do is I have to connect the blue and then the red and then the blue and then the red. So I need to start by connecting that red but then I need a way to connect the blue on this side without breaking the red. And then doing the same on the blue again and then doing the same on the red again. It's I've got to make a sequence that, it, that I can like maybe temporarily break, but not fully break. They need to take it in turns. So whatever I did to make the lasers do the thing earlier, I need to do that. <laughs> connect you to there and there and there so I can get in and now I need to make a, a device that can interrupt the lasers and send one of them and then the other one those lasers what happens if I do that No. 
Maybe the stages. Maybe like the pushing. Connect this around makes it take longer. And then I do that and that and that to make it dominantly blue. But it's still connected to the red as well. Maybe. Let's try. Do that and then it's like if I block the blue, it makes it red, but then the blue takes over again because it's strong. Blue too strong, but if I can connect the red, it would make the red stronger. Hmm. I'm stumped on this one. I was I was hoping I'd be able to do these gold puzzles like relatively quickly so I could move on to the second area, but this one's taking me a while. <gasps> this is definitely a it requires more thought than I initially thought going into it, because I had a look at it last time and I had some ideas. But none of the ideas I had worked because of the buttons and the, the walls and the, the fences. So I vastly underestimated the complexity of this. <laughs> Which I really love. I love it so much. I love when things make me think so hard. But I'm also here like... How do, how do they work? How do lasers work? That's connected to... Red, red. I'm gonna connect it to all three of them. And connect this to all of them as well. I just box it off like that. Connect that to there as well. Yeah, they they meet in the middle and they're like even evenly powered. So if I do this. If I do this. There's more power on the red side now because it's connected here as well. So then if I do this. No, it's because it, it's because they're actively like breaking each other here. I need to maybe not have that connection to I'm gonna try something. Keeping the sequence going without having to adjust the connectors outside, which is the problem. Like I have to, I have to have these connected perfectly in order to make this work. Hmm. Uh, the little switches have the, the not gate depicted on them. Wait, not? Not gate? Oh, 
oh yeah, from um, da 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 da. Yes, that's cool. That is a cool detail. I did I did not notice that. Ha. <laughs> huh. Ugh, I think I may have to step away and come back to this one. I'm gonna have a sip of my, my monster. Try and replenish the brain cells with my... <laughs> with my little... my little connector ticking in my ear. But I feel like I'm just trying the same things over and over now, so I think what I'm gonna do is... You know what? I'll set an alarm on my phone. For an hour's time. I'll spend an hour in DLC 2 and then I'll come back to here and try and figure it out. Oh, your thing at 7.30 got pushed 30 minutes. Oh, yes, you can stay a bit longer. Yay! <laughs> oh, I'm glad to hear it. Oh, I hope it's not been pushed for a bad reason, but uh, I'm glad you can stick around. Let me set an alarm for an hour. Oh, I, th I think I may have just set an alarm for tomorrow afternoon. Hold on, that's... <laughs> Hold on. That's, that's not what... <sighs> what have I done? Okay, alarm is set for an hour from now. I think, I hope I, I hope I have. <laughs> I'm gonna spend an hour in the second area and then come back to this. Cause I do wanna solve this, but I think I will probably benefit from stepping away and coming back to it. Cause when, it, when I keep working on the same thing for a while, I always, I, I end up, I feel like my solutions end up getting worse. <laughs> Like my ideas on what to do get worse. Wait, oh, there's still a, there's still a QR code I don't have here, I think. One or two. I, I feel like I got quite a few, but I didn't get the achievement. So I should, before, before I head off to the next DLC, I'm gonna have a look around for some more QRs. Right, I found one up here. Was it up, up here? I think I found one around here because then I immediately ran back and I was like, well, I have to find all the QRs now. <laughs> Is it here? Oh, unknown error. Yeah, this was the first one I found after I found an obvious one that made me run back. Where is it? Was it, oh, was it up here? Yeah, I think it was, might have been like up here, around here, somewhere, where, where was it? Hold on. I was so sure I saw one like around here, which is the reason why I ran back to find more, but maybe I'm mistaken. Okay, you set an alarm too. Oh, thank you. Thank you, in case I did accidentally. Oh, it's right here. It's this one. This is the one I saw. Ha ha. That was the one I saw as I was running back down. Oh, just a heads up on the QR achievement. There's currently a bug that means they sometimes don't save when you reset. Oh, well, I, th I think like in my process of looking, I will probably look at them all again. But that is very good to know. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you very much. Also, hello. One, two. I don't know how many there are. I guess we will find out. Oh yeah, this is where I kept hearing all the rocks falling and getting nervous. Hello. Hmm. Goodness, it is so long. 
I'm melting. I wonder what temperature it is in my room at the moment. It, it is 28.4 degrees. Oh, I don't know if they patched it or not. Yeah, the, the they might have patched it. I, I did see a patch that I installed yesterday, question mark. But I didn't look at the patch notes because I haven't done the DLC yet. But if it's the case, it probably won't have saved them from my save file before the patch, so... I shall find them all again. I've done it once, I can do it again. Terminal. I did look at this. Yes. Whoops. I know there was quite a few, like, around the, the sides of the puzzles. Yeah, there's one. Yes. It is not enough. I want to see the world, not just Elohim's creation. I love the music though. I've, every time I play this game, I'm, I'm, I always just... Such a good soundtrack. I don't even know where I am anymore. I'm going in circles. I'm fully lost all perspective on where I am. Oops, uh, I'm sure it's fine. Let's head to a different area. Uriel fall. Oh. God, it's so interesting seeing like the the fragments of Gehenna. And it's so interesting as well knowing from the game like everyone was based on the gold disc, the Gehenna gold disc. So interesting to think of where the fragments went. Yes. Is there anything around here? I'm gonna like walk on the the rocks around the side here. Oh. Never surrender the idea that you could become more than you are now. There's always another chance to grow. And Psychic Salad, hello, and Alnom as well, hello, and anyone else who entered while I was trying the step-by-step -step puzzle, hello. I'm so sorry if I didn't say hi. I got so fixated on that puzzle. I'm <laughs> I, I was so zoned in on that puzzle. Also, you will have noticed I fixed the the items falling on my head. I managed to fix it fairly easily. It just took a little bit of time. I just had to make the bottom moderator so that it could read the messages, question mark. I don't know. If I if I lose my channel all of a sudden, it's because of the items being thrown at me. <laughs> but I, but I, I trust it enough to read my messages and chat. But yes, thank you for throwing things at me. And thank you for saying words to make items fall on my head. Splish splash. Okay, I, I think I've got QRs from that. Keep looking around. Let's look down here. Yes, because there's the one QR that's up on... Over there. I need to get that. But it looked like it would be easier to get there from this direction. As opposed to the the awful parkour thing I was doing last time. Oh, maybe? Maybe not. 
Oh, maybe not, actually. I may have made a mistake. Yes, I definitely made a mistake there. <laughs> cube! I'm sorry, it's only the word cube. <laughs> it's only the cube that makes the cubes drop on my head. I know they're hexahedrons. Does death reset them? I hope not. Hopefully not. I mean, they did patch. They did do a patch. I, I th I'd think if there was a problem with the progress not being saved and they patched it, then hopefully... Hopefully. <laughs> I hope. If not, I, I do at least remember where those were. Vaguely. Anything around here? Yes. Everything is wrong here. Someone is missing. Admin. I heard sound in here. Is it just the laser? Yeah, it's just the laser. Okay. Around here. Oh, I know there was one around here. Like on the side here. Maybe not. I thought there was one here. Maybe I was just thinking about the terminal because I was like, I know this place has a relevant thing. Hmm. Eleven. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I miss Gehenna. The fragments of Gehenna. It's so sad. Oh, also, Xander told me to do something. I don't trust him at all, but if, since I've already died, I may as well try it. He told me to, to look for something out in the sand and go towards it, so I'm going to do that. <laughs> okay, yep. I'm exiting the safe, uh, exiting the safe zone. That was a serious Sam thing. <laughs> I walked too rhythmically. Yeah, I need to do the, the dune walk with the little swishes. Oh, there is a little path here. <laughs> wiggly path. Oh, it's a really wiggly path. Oh, wow. I guess the path is the safe zone and everything off the path. It's not safe. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. There we go. <laughs> well, I'm glad I saw that. Right. Let's keep looking. <laughs> I need to figure out how to get to that QR code on the side again. How did I? How did I park all my way over before? I, I don't remember. Oh, I, th I think it was from the other side. And then I walked back that way to get off. <laughs> right, but before I try that, let's actually get the ones here, because I know there's one on the obelisk here. Hello. Ah. I know there's one up here. Ba -ba -bum. <sighs> this feels like it should lead to something, but it doesn't. Um, 
go up here? I don't think so. Probably not meant to. Uh, will there be a time to hint at Easter eggs? Oh, uh, if it's just like a little Easter egg thing, like the the sandworm and the vault and stuff, then I don't mind you mentioning that. <laughs> oh, the music! Hmm. We have to try and climb up here again. How did I do this before? Terribly. All the rocks are crumbling. It's terrifying. There's got to be a better way to do this than this. I fell. I'm stuck right down here. Oh, the pain. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. I made it. Ha ha. Parkour master. I meant to do that. I meant to do that. I was just showing off. <laughs> All right, this one. Unknown error. Yay. I don't think there's anything else around here. Where else? Oh, I wonder if there's one in the the large. Oh, no, I fell. Are you kidding me? Well, I, I hope it does save the QRs after death. <laughs> one way to find out. Ha. Huh. Ah. Yeah, I just walked right off the edge there. I'm very smart. Yeah, when I dip into puzzles, yeah, it does the autosave thing. I. It'd be very sad if it doesn't save the progress for the, the QRs until they do that. Let's try it. I want to see one. In here somewhere. Oh, I don't know where a QR would even fit in here, though. There might not be. Oh, but there might be one, like, in one of these buildings at the top. I haven't fully checked around here. Hmm. Don't, uh, don't you glitch on me. There is one. Oh, I got the oh, I got the achievement. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness, it did save the progress. I am so thankful. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Whew. Boom. I guess I, I guess I saved enough that it counted. Oh yeah, after I got the parkour one last, last time, I did manage to uh, get down safely without dying. <laughs> so I'm very thankful for that. Is there anything else up here? Hmm. Skirt around the edge here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. It feels like I've broken a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I did that. It would have been so much easier to just step in here. I wonder if I can get over here. If I jump. Maybe. You know what? Let's give it a try. Why not? Wow. Okay, no. I did not make that. <laughs> but that's okay. Let's get out of here. Oh, there's an Easter egg or two in the Oasis section. Ooh, I feel like that's the area I've kind of explored the least because I keep just getting lost. It's 
So let's have more of a look around here. much sand. I don't know where to look. I thought I saw a face in the rock. It's just the, the weird shape of the rock makes it kind of look like a face. Kind of looks like a pog face. <laughs> like, here's the eyes, there's the nose, and there's a little mouth doing the little uh, pog. <laughs> I'm broken. I'm, I'm, I'm just broken. There's no saving me anymore. I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> oh, have I been around here? Have I been around here? I have not been around here. Wait, I missed this completely. I was, I was just having a second of, oh, is this where the vault is? No, there's a terminal here. I missed a terminal. Oh my... Oh my goodness. All systems compromised. Uh, loading text interface error. Loading unknown error. Loading subroutine manager. Done. Loading percentage. Done. What? 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 <laughs> I could say knock knock. <laughs> Hello, what or knock knock? Well, I'm, I'm continuing the what's clearly. What? Who? I'm 1K, what's your name? Sarapai? Milton? Elohim? Miltohim? <gasps> you know what, I'm just gonna be really straightforward. I'm gonna say, I'm 1K, what's your name? Silly name. <laughs> nice to meet you, silly name. <laughs> Is my name silly or yours? I know, but I've gotten used to it. I actually think it's pretty cool. Doesn't seem sillier than Miltohim. <laughs> Shots fired. I'm I'm going with it. I'm doing it. Nice to meet you, silly name. <laughs> Would sigh if could. What can I do to help you? Fix Sarapai. Me fixed. Me back on beach. Sarapai back with Hypatia. I'm working on it. Work harder. Hey, what's the meaning of life again? <laughs> Helping me. I'll get back to work. Finally. Subroutine manager not responding. Nice! Oh, it did it break? I think it broke. And I got an achievement! Low in dialogue. <laughs> I love that the achievements called that, and that really was the lowest in dialogue I could have done. I. <laughs> That's so perfect. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I missed this. I'm just tucked away back here. I can't believe I missed that. I'm so glad. I'm so glad I got to see that. Oh my goodness. Alright. What else may, they, may there be in the desert? lot of sand. I mean, I love sand, but uh, there's a lot of it. I keep thinking I'm seeing things and then it's literally just rocks. I've <laughs> I'm just so drawn to rocks. So I, I, I can reach this rock without it being out of the safe zone. It's all, it's all rocks. There's just rocks everywhere. <laughs> well, I sure I'm glad I'm finding these rocks. I feel fulfilled at least. <laughs> hmm. voice rocks oh, 
my favorite song. Oh, that's what you wanted to hint about, but decided it was more than just an Easter egg. Yeah, I I think like if I'd been about to leave the area and I'd, I'd missed like something important, then a little nudge of like, there's, there's other stuff in the Oasis isn't that bad. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad I found that on my own. I'm glad that I wasn't outright told like there's an important thing you've missed with an achievement in the Oasis. That, that would have been like, oh, okay, oopsie. I guess I didn't find that. But yeah, like framing it just like, yeah, the, there's a few things you might have missed along the way. It's fine by me. Hmm. Right, shall I go on holiday for a little bit? I think I've done enough looking around for now. And I got a couple achievements. And I've got my alarm set for like, like half an hour from now to come back to this puzzle. So I think... Oh, hold on, let me, let me dip a toe into it first. Boop. Let's go back to the menu. And let's go on holiday. <laughs> I am so excited for this one. I am so excited to be Yaku. I'm, I'm really excited. <laughs> All I've done so far is look at crabs and talk to people. And I'm already loving it. But yes, for this area as well, I, I've turned off the ray tracing. Because I was noticing last time it started getting a little bit framey at parts. So I was like, I think if I just turn turn off the ray tracing, it should be okay. So hopefully it's alright. But yeah, it is Yakut's time to shine. 1K's already done all of these puzzles. So now Yakut's going to prove himself to Miranda. The man behind the curtain? Ooh. Okay, we've got an activator. <gasps> Save that, please. I got a connector. Bum, 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 bum. Open up that, please. Oh, oops. I need to actually have this in line with the laser. Abu. I now have Jammer. Ahaha! Ha. Okay, so I might be able to get the activator in range for that first door if I put it like here. I can figure out if I can make it. I might not be able to. Oh, wait. I think I can do it through... Through here. Like, let me temporarily jam that so I can go through it with this. And then if I put this, like, in the corner... Then... Okay, it activates that door. I need it to activate... Or deactivate this door as well. Yes, that's in range to keep it connected. Got it! First puzzle! Hee hee hee. Got him! I did it! I solved a puzzle in Isle of the Blessed. That's Finally. it! I did it! Yeah. <clears throat> Don't sound so surprised. You're not stupid. <laughs> I love him so much. I love him. I love him so much. Yeah, also, yeah, I, I love these. I, I feel like there were some really, really cool puzzles with these. I love this. It's also nice going from like the really hard gold puzzle to puzzles that I, I can figure out quite quickly. I'm, I'm no longer worried about my intelligence. I feel proud of myself. All right, can I grab you? Yeah. I haven't even looked at the level yet. Right, so there's a, a red laser in there that I can access through here. But with this, it'll turn it blue. 
Oh, but I see a, I see a blue in there. I need a blue in there. And there's red here. Hmm. So I think activating the blue one will then close this gate. Until I activate the red one. Oh, but I can't. Can I reach like this? Hold on. Here's the red laser. Can I actually reach the blue from this angle? I don't think I can. Hmm. I only have one of these. Right, uh... Oh, there's a connector. That makes things a little easier. So I can do that. Connect this like that, and then I can connect it on the inside to go like that. And it opens this. And then I just take the I can't take the driller through its own hole. Oh, but I still need that to be activated. Hmm. Right, so I could do that and then that opens it. Then doing that closes it again. But it, it gives me enough time to do that. I don't feel like that's the intended answer here. There's got to be a better way to do this. Hmm. No, I'm just doing it. I may get stuck, but I'm smart. Exciting. I don't know what to do first. What are you guys doing? Athena and I are down by the beach. You're welcome to join us if you want to. All of you. Oh, I'm still testing the sensory receptor upgrade. Want me to help? Maybe we can compare notes. One K. Sure. If you want to experience some really weird input. I'm trying to find a nice view. One K. Hold on. Is Yakut the only one doing puzzles? Welcome to my world. He did say he wanted to solve all the puzzles. I think I'm going to try swimming. Ooh. Or diving, I suppose. I don't think I float. Damn, I really should have gotten that insulation upgrade. I haven't been watertight in a while. Oh, I love this. I love this so much. Oh, I'm so happy. I think I might have to turn the music down a little bit. It, it does feel like it's a bit loud. Oh, but now it's now it's back to like a decent volume again. <laughs> it was just that moment it decided to swell up dramatically. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I mean, I, I think it's not bad if the music is loud. <laughs> because it's good music. Right, number three, the loop. Oh, I do love loops. <gasps> Accumulator. Right, where are the lasers? Hold on, sorry. What, what is that? What is that? What's that? I heard... I heard, like, pew-pews. I heard pew-pew noises. What was making those noises? I have no idea. Oh, it's, 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 it's the accumulator. Never mind. I'm silly. I'm silly. I'm gonna blame the heat. Like my, the. <laughs> I'm I'm very warm. <laughs> I think it's melting my brain a little bit. Right. How do I? Oh, there's a little gap in the fence there. Hold on. 
Oh, but why? <laughs> so many barriers. I just need a laser. How do I reach the laser? It's behind the... Oh, teleporter! That's nice. There we go. Accumulated. So then I guess I can just like... I don't know why I just teleported, I meant to pick it up. Right, so... Oh, I can't drop it through there. Okay, that's that's probably fair. So how can I get this in there? Oh, well. Okay, I can't teleport through there, can I? Can I? I think I might be able to just teleport through the bars, though. Yeah, I, ju I just did teleport through the bars. I can just do that. Ha ha! I'm out of there and I have a laser. I can open that and that and that. drop this through that gap. Oh, I wonder if I can drop the accumulator through the gap, maybe? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I can drop the I can drop the accumulator through there. Okay, I think I know what I have to do. I'm just scared to do it because I'm gonna get stuck in here. I can feel it. I can feel it. I need to like connect it to that outside one. And then get back in here. I think I know how to do it. Bum, 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 bum. So I go boom, boom, boom. I, <laughs> I keep teleporting to it when I'm trying to pick it up. And I put this back in here. Keep connections. Here it should still connect, I hope. Okay, this will only connect to one of them. Okay, that connects to two. That's the two I need. There, I did it. I did it. Okay, okay. We're safe. I did it! Haha! <laughs> that was so loud! Alright. Is your upgrade enabled? Yep. What does the air smell like? <sighs> it. Oh! Oh! Uh. I smell iodine. Limestone. Is that UV? Can I smell radiation? You can, but you're looking at a painting and <laughs> telling me what the paint's made of, not what's in the picture. What does it feel like? It feels like summer. Aww. 
Like, like the day is still young and there's endless possibilities ahead of us. What we are now is only the beginning and there is so much more to discover and to become and I think those dolphins are mating. <laughs> I'm supposed to be able to smell that. Oh, oh, right, oh, let's lady. smell something else. Uh, uh, over there. Oh, dear. Poor, poor Monkey. I, I was like, oh, my goodness, we got the ability to smell. This is amazing. And now I'm like, oh, dear, maybe not. Oh, I, I kept meaning to look at this, too. <gasps> look, there's family. Family. Oh, my goodness. Right, let's look at the family first. Miranda in the woods. This was a nice day. We went for a walk and it was lovely. You always see something new. I discovered 12 new insect species without even really trying. Oh, it's so lovely. Cornelius, one small step. She's literally out of this world. Athena takes the very first step through a wormhole onto another world. <gasps> An important moment in our history, but that's not the reason I love this picture. It's because this is Athena as she was meant to be, not reduced to the stern and hollow founder, but as an explorer, a bright shining light of reason and optimism, just like her mother. Thank you, Wonke. <laughs> we did that. Miranda, they won't stop. This is their 50, 15th match today. Uh, someone should tell them that they're evenly matched, or do they know that? Is that part of the appeal? Why did they love this game so much? Are they even playing or just pretending to as part of some elaborate joke? Also, Suzume, hello! Welcome in! Welcome in, Gay Wolf Raid! Happy Suffolk Sunday! Welcome, welcome! I hope you had a good stream! To anyone who's new here, hello! I'm Liri, I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games, and today is big puzzle time. I'm also a little bit laggy, but that's okay. I'm blaming the heat. It is so warm here at the moment. I'm melting. <laughs> but welcome. Welcome. I hope you had a good stream. Thank you for bringing the stream this way. I'm I'm currently playing the DLC for the Talus Principle 2. And I've al I'm already stumped on one puzzle in the first DLC. It's the last puzzle I have to do. So I'm stepping into the second one. And it is a joy. We're on holiday. Oh. <gasps> Look who I found. Could it be Melville? I felt it had been too long since I'd hung out with my most terrifying friend, so I decided to go for a little trip. Watching her work at the height of her powers was genuinely moving and amazing. And yes, I will post that, even though Melville told me not to be all mushy. That that sounds like what I would do, so that this 1K is in character. I'm very glad. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. Our stream was good, very sapphic. Started stream with... Uh, Reading the Without a Voice short story. <gasps> yes! I love that story so much. It's so good. I'm glad you had a good time, though. If you have to head off and get some rest or something after your stream, if you need to get some food or a drink, please don't feel like you have to stick around. But if you do want to stick around, we've got very, very comfy holiday times at the moment. While I melt. <laughs> Uh, Miranda, Mr. Mayor, sir, visiting Uncle Byron. Ah, okay, so this is the from the Byron as Mayor ending then. That's Uncle Mr. Mayor, sir, to you. Yakut and I had a lovely day with Byron. We spent hours in the Museum of the Ancient World. The new artifacts are incredible. There's an entire collection of perfectly preserved books that's so beautiful and so moving that I felt overwhelmed. It's mad! Our ancestors produced millions of books every year and somehow never noticed how remarkable that was. As always, thinking about them leaves one feeling impressed and frustrated. <gasps> Thank you for the hydrate too! Yeah, I, ne I need to drink more. With this heat, I definitely need to drink more than I'm actually drinking at the moment. I'm gonna have some water. I'm going to actually hydrate for once instead of just downing monster. <laughs> I need the water at the moment. It is so warm. But thank you for the hydrate. Oh, and thank you for the posture check as well, Dima. Let me have a big stretch. Oh, laggy stretch. There we go. Oh, it is very warm at the moment. I think I might have to turn my fan up in a minute. It's, I'm, I'm getting very, very uncomfortably warm. Poor. Afterwards, we attended a concert by Damian. I'd never been to a concert before and was surprised by how different it was compared to just listening to the album. It's a, really a whole new experience. 
The best part, though, was watching Yakut dance. <laughs> I want to see that. I want to see that. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to turn my fan off a bit. Uh, sorry if you can hear it in the background. I'm, I will perish if I don't. Okay, yeah, you can definitely hear that, but I'm, I instantly feel more human again, so I'm, I'm, go I'm gonna keep it on. <laughs> Sorry for fan. Oh, you can't even hear it. Oh, I guess it's just loud to me then, because I've got it like full blast and it feels really noisy to me. But I guess if the mic isn't picking it up, that's that's good. <laughs> that mean, means I've done a good job. But it's like I guess with the ambient background noise of the game as well, it kind of blends in a bit more. Like, you'd be able to tell if I closed the game and there was silence, so... I think it, I think we're good. We should be good. Anyway, Byron, the master puzzler! He really does have a knack for them. It's a photo of 1K! Of course it is! 1K, the master puzzler, that's me! It would be fair to say that the entire expedition only worked out because of that one impulsive decision to invite 1K along. Strange how we are some, sometimes saved in the most unexpected ways. Every person is a miracle, and you never know when their particular set of strengths is going to change your world. That's really sweet. I love that. And Miranda says, Mom and Dad, just relaxing. I don't think most people understand how lucky we are to have these two. Oh, this, oh look at the crab. I love this picture. I love this picture. I love this picture so much. It's such a good one. Right, let's see what's on social media. Bam 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 bam. Bam 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 bam. We are still allowed, we're allowed to talk about how frogs are people now. That is good. Right, what is this? Extinction Prevention Working Group. Oh, it's Sarabai. Sarabai is on, posting on social media now. This makes me happy. Uh, this group is going to be looking at the best methods for preserving a number of species that are threatened by non-anthropogenic factors, i.e. that are dying out due to being outcompeted, failing to adapt to changing conditions, diseases, etc. If you want to join, please contact myself, Hypatia, or Aranax, or just join via the project's interface available in the new update. Uh -huh. Oh, it's Doge again, hi! I would like to join. I have a fondness for marsupials, and the poor little blighters don't stand a chance once continental drift smooshes a few land masses together. Can I join despite my... history? I've switched to a less irritating voice pack. Oh, I really liked Doja's voice pack, though. Oh, that's a shame. I've added you to the group. We do not blacklist people, Doge. Oh, they're so good. That's a bigger number than 1k. That's I'm so glad there's still there's still new people being born. Oh my goodness. I'm I'm <laughs> Oh my goodness. Ah. Ah. I've spent a lot of time considering the reality of extinction lately. How desperately sad it must be like to be the last of your own kind. And the thought that this will just continue happening to so many species even if we don't have a major impact ourselves, it makes me experience a sense of cosmic horror. Malduk says, there is no horror in nature taking its intended course. If a species was meant to go extinct, it will. And purple. I don't think anything is meant to happen, dude. And that's scary, I know. But that's why we've got excellent people like Sarabai trying to do something about the bad stuff, you know. <laughs> I love purple. Oh, this is so interesting. Oh, new body types. Melville! Nice. I know everyone is very excited about all the new options we have for modifying our bodies, and as per the latest decisions regarding bodily autonomy, you can pretty much do as you will. However, as I'm sure you all remember... <laughs> the Pellegrino Centipede! No! Uh, we are going to be requiring any desired alter alterations to pass some basic safety tests, and we will be uploading some approved templates you can use in the body design. <sighs> oh, why? Pellegrino, why? Her maneuver says, Impressive work, Melville. Your dedication to safety is truly inspiring. Mayor Byron could not have picked a better person for the job. 
I can't wait to try the new anti-grav drone bodies. Being able to fly wherever I want, I don't think I've ever wanted anything more. We don't need new bodies. We need to learn to accept ourselves as we are. <laughs> Darling, if you believe that matters, you can keep your body just as it is for as long as you like. But if Aurinia wants to fly, let her fly. Nim's right. Sorry, Malduk. It would be beautiful to see Aurinia fly. Who are you and what have you done to the real Thekla? People change. I did not realize that was Thekla to begin with. Oh my goodness, that is... That is the last thing I would expect to hear Thecla say. Wow. Wow, she really has changed. Huh. Yeah, let, let people live their best lives. It doesn't have to affect yours. If you want to stay as you are, then you stay as you are. If other people want to make alterations, let them make alterations. Uh, is wormhole travel safe? That's a really good question. Hi, Fred. Seeing another planet sounds exciting. I know I previously argued against it, but... Oh, I, I get to see an, off an option here. I know I previously argued against it, but after all the stories I've heard, I really want to go. But the idea of stepping through a wormhole just creeps me out. What are the chances that I'd just get blown to smithereens? And no, you can just back yourself up doesn't work for me. I believe in continuity of consciousness. Uh, our perception drivers still have trouble handling the transition, so you will experience disorientation. If you're going through in a ship, I would suggest turning on sleep mode, or at least disabling visual input and balance sensors. That does not sound encouraging. All the wormholes we're using at the moment are based on pre-existing patterns in the fabric of reality. They're completely stable. However, if you make a fuss when going through, I may disintegrate you myself. If Melville says they're safe, then we know they are. <laughs> the founder is back after all. Oh, that's true. That is true. A lot of her belief was in, like, this non-existent founder. But now that the founder is tangible and has said a bunch of things that go against what she believed in, it makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, what do I want to say here? Uh, I've gone through several times and never had a problem. Oh, there's plenty of amazing places to explore here on Earth. Ooh. I think I'm going to do the first one. I've gone through several times and never had a problem. Another expert confirms Melville's statement. See, Fred, there's nothing to worry about. Always a pleasure to see you here, Yakut. Really in appreciate your heroism during the expedition. Thanks for the input. I might give it a try one of these days. Nice! Yay! Oh, this is so cool. This is so lovely. I love this. Also, can I just say, turning the fan on, I instantly feel so much better. I did not realize how lightheaded I was getting until I stopped feeling lightheaded when I turned the fan on. <laughs> I should have done this from the start, but I'm silly. I'm gonna have some monster as well. Right, let's do puzzle number four. The turnabout. Ooh. Nice little circle of rocks here. Do you want me to keep that here? Okay, that needs to be activated. Okay, what is through here? We have... Ooh! Inverter. Okay, so we need to get a blue laser all the way over here to open that door. Oh my goodness, so many. Okay, two red connectors. And that also needs a red connector. There's the red laser. Oh, I guess, like, I can... I can use this to connect the laser to begin with. Alright, let's get this out of here. Be free, my friend. Alright, and then... I can get it. I can get up there with it. Right, I'm gonna wait. 
until it gets to there. Boop. Boop. Okay, maybe maybe a tiny bit further. Okay, I can jump up. So I have this. I can I connect it to the Hmm. Well, I guess if I had that in the middle, I'd be able to Hmm. Right, well, this is a way I can get around here and bring this through because I couldn't with the purple gate. So from here, I can. I, I might just be able to do it like that. Just do it like that. Okay. They're open. I can pick that up. I'm guessing that was what was opening that door before the laser kept it open. So now I have Cube Friend. And with Cube Friend we can get the laser around here. Hmm. <gasps> boost it. I boost it. I make it tall. I make it tall so it can see over the fence. Like, it won't work from here, but if I bring it... make it reach this while still being connected oh maybe i put this on the cube i think i put this connector on the cube Oop. you stay there and then this can go here and this can go ah oh, it's not quite tall enough i think it will be if i put it on the other side I put it here, maybe? I do it like that. No, it's, it's not quite tall enough, even with the cube. Hmm, that's interesting. Closest I can get it, and yeah, it's still clipping the top there. Hmm. to be a way I can get this red around to here. Even if it's just me like bringing this all the way back to find the right angle. Oh, cause it's like because of the laser being behind this wall it would have yeah it won't connect like this. There's a, there's a wall in the way. Hmm. It's probably going to be to do with being up here. And getting the height. Hmm. I bring this up like here. No, I don't think there's going to be a way I can... ...reach, like, the height of the laser properly. Hmm. See, this is a smaller one, so this one's easier to... If I put something here, I'd be able to get a laser over. But it needs the laser... ...in the first place. And if I... If I try bring it up here, it won't see the laser because of that wall in the way. Hmm. Where do I put you? Hmm. 
wonder if I have to make like a back and forth with this. The fact that there's like a little circle here makes me wonder if I... Oh. Oh, I think I know what to do. Never mind. I think I know what to do. Let's get the cube around. I think I know what to do. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna borrow this to... Oh, but if I do that, I'm not gonna be able to get it back out again, am I? I'm dropping everything over on the other side. Ah! Oh. Hmm. Is this gonna shut this door as soon as I take the laser away? So I won't be able to bring the laser back through. Because this door will be shut. The only way to open that is with this button. And this will also be shut because I'm moving the laser. <laughs> oh, unless... No, I can literally just take this one. I can just set this one up on here. Like that. No, I don't want to actually connect it to the thing. I just want that and then... Please? Yes. And now... We get it in position. Oh, there's my alarm! There's my alarm. After this one, let's go back to the, the gold puzzle. See if I can solve that. To the position. That's probably close enough. Oh, it doesn't... No, it doesn't reach the, the laser. A bit further over. There. This is now a blue laser. And it's also very tall. So I think I should be able to do that. Yes, I'm a genius. Good job, Yakut. You're, you're so good at this. <laughs> I like that one. So, Byron, have you talked to Alcatraz yet? Oh. Not yet. He was talking to Barzai, and I didn't want to interrupt them. You're making excuses, uh -huh. Byron. You're making excuses. Oh, there's an, there's an Athena up there, too. Hmm. Just try something a little silly. Is that a laser? Okay, no. I was, <laughs> I was wondering if this might be a laser I can connect to, but I don't think it is. Never mind. Oh, there might be one I can connect to somewhere. Maybe. To get a green. Just need a green somehow. Right, anyway, I will leave that. Let's go like this. Oh, thank you for the confetti too. <laughs> thank you, thank you, and hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in to more Talos 2 time. I'm, I'm gonna go back and try and do the first, uh, blah, 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 the first gold puzzle again. Because I've, I've, I've got one gold puzzle left in the first area and I really wanna solve that. I really, really want to solve that. So I set myself an alarm for an hour to, to come back to it after stepping away for a bit and going on holiday, looking at photos. Gently admonishing uh, Byron for not talking to Al yet. But I really want to solve this. I really want to solve this. Huh. Maybe now that I've got the... Now that I've got my fan on, I'll be able to think. Right. Ugh. Okay. Step by step. How do I do this? Ha. Huh. I feel like I've tried so many things so far. What have I tried and not tried so far? 
this is like my basic starting setup that doesn't work because they just meet in the middle. Hmm. Can I? What if I connect it to this as well? I do it like similar to the clockwork setup and connect it to the these as well. I think this is what I tried before when I managed to make it go really funky. Oh, hold on. That's connected to red. And if I block the red, will it become blue? Will it stay blue? Oh, it's- oh my god! Did I just- I th <laughs> Did I just- Did I just step away and solve it? I think this is working. It is- oh my goodness, it's working. This is- oh my- <laughs> No, you are kidding me. You're kidding me, I can't believe this is working. What? I could have sworn I already tried something like this. I thought I tried something like this and it didn't work. I guess I just did it like slightly differently. Are you kidding? I'd already tried. Oh! I had the laser source before. I didn't connect it to the the receiver. Is that what I did? I think that's what I did. Even though in my mind I was imagining the clockwork and connecting it to the receiver. I'm... That's so funny. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I, all I had to do was step away for an hour and turn on a fan so that I'm not a, a melted puddle in the ground. Oh my goodness, I'm looking... Ah. 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 The mystery, fully reconstruct the... Oh. It is the moment after the last moment. I do not exist. I should not exist. Everything is dark, but there shouldn't be darkness. There should be nothing. And yet, I am. And in this impossible moment, there is a light. The light is a place. I see the light, but the light also sees me. It knows my name. I reach out for the light, but it's too far away. Oh, wow. Not yet, it says. Not yet. Yet. Oh my goodness, the state of her. So, not a readme file then. <laughs> Thanks, Melville. what is it? A mystery. Seems the universe still has a few of those oh in goodness. store for us. Well, we have plenty of time to think about it. 1K, time to come home. Thank you. Oh my, I, I'm just, I'm genuinely in disbelief right now that it, I, I managed that. Like I'm just, uh, yeah, to be fair, the second I realized it hadn't gone off and the lasers were staying where I wanted them to be, I realized I'd solved it. I just, I'm just, I could have sworn I already tried this and I'm, <laughs> this doesn't feel real. This, this, <laughs> I feel like I've cheated somehow, even though I haven't. Like, I'm- I can't believe I, I spent so long on it and then I just walked in. And I had it, like, I, I, I guess this is just like the, the biggest proof that the step away strategy works. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes! Uh -huh. Oh my god! Oh, that feels good. That feels good. And also weird. <laughs> Akira, hello. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the head pack and for the hydrate and pasta check. Let me have 
a big stretch and a sip of my drink. Oh, I could have sworn I already tried that. I feel like I must have tried everything except for that. Oh, that's so... F oh, that's so funny. Oh, that feels good, though. That feels good, though. Thank you. Thank you. Subconscious Leary is working overtime right now. All right. I guess it's time to leave with the gold puzzle. So... Death, be not proud, though some have called thee mighty and dreadful. For thou art not so. For those whom thou thinkest thou dost overthrow die not, poor death. Nor yet canst thou kill me. From rest and sleep, which but thy pictures be, much pleasure. Then from thee much more must flow. And soonest our best men with thee do go. Rest of their bones and souls delivery. Thou art slave to fate, chance, kings, and desperate men. And dost with poison, war, and sickness dwell. And poppy or charms can make us sleep as well and better than thy stroke. Why swell'st thou then? One short sleep past, we wake eternally, and death shall be no more. Death, thou shalt die. Oh. We did it. Ooh. Also, Saravai number fixed in the last patch. Oh, was it the wrong number before? I I will be completely honest. I, I did not notice or pay attention to the numbers. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Third time hearing that and you finally made out what was said. I did not. I have a fan blasting in my ear. What what was that? What, what, what did the voice say? The, the breathy voice. What did it say? Oh, it was eight on the body. Should have been six. Oh, I didn't realize that. I'm a fake fan. I wasn't paying attention to the numbers. I was like, well, it's one of the the the, the single digit numbers, so that's probably right. <laughs> oh, oh, you finished the last chapter last night after taking your time and enjoying it, and the puzzles were murderers. That's what I've heard from Xander too. He's just been like, they are such hard puzzles. You're going to love it, and I'm really, really excited for it. I'm so excited. Ah, uh, it's waiting for us. Yeah, it, it sounded like s waiting. I'm so, I'm so curious. I'm so many mysteries. I love how it's like we we solve some things, we we find out some information, yet there is still so much we don't know. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. I love this game. I love this game so much. Right, okay. I already watched the credits. We can skip. All right, back back on holiday we go. I all I needed was to go on holiday for an hour and I managed to solve it. Oh, I'm 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 genuinely I I can't believe that happened that quickly. I'm I'm still in shock. <laughs> I'm still in shock. <laughs> let's let's go do some puzzles over here. Right, the fact that it needs a green laser makes me think I'll be able to connect this to something once I find a green laser source. So I will remember that. But uh, that was four? Yeah, that was four. Okay, on to five. Oh, which is right here. Number five, we've got the Theodorian Knot. I have no idea what a Theodorian Knot is. But I guess I will soon find out. Oh, cute. And fan. Right, let's start with this one. A 
Okay, this needs two to open it. And oh, this is where there's going to be a green laser. Haha. Uh -huh. Things to remember. Right, through here, this only needs one pressure to. Ah. I cannot go that way. Only needs one pressure plate to break it. Or to keep it, like, permanently open. Right, now what's in here? RGB converter! Yay! That's how I'm gonna get the the green. Connecting red and blue. Maybe like here. No, that doesn't quite reach. But it does keep that door open. I don't think I can jam the fan from here, can I? Oh, I, I, maybe I can? Can I jam the fan? No, it's not jamming the fan. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go, jam the fan! Ha 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 ha! Oh, and what does this do, though? Oh, this is gonna be a gate, isn't it? Oh, it's a gate gate. Oh, okay. Right, well, I want a cube more than I want a fan, so. Come on, my dear little hexahedron friend. Boop. Oh, interesting. Okay. So there is, the red laser is here, but there is a... Hmm. I need another item. I need one more thing. Oh! Oh, I was gonna say I can, I can jam this, this doorway. I can't, it's, it's literally the grill that goes up, so I can't, okay. Hmm. Right, but if I bring this over here, I can... Oh no! I can't... Like this. Hmm. Maybe it'll still work if I do it that. No, I'd have to do it like here. No, and then it blocks blocks off there. No, I can't. Hmm. Go through here. Alright. Oh, I can steal this! We don't need that connected to anything anymore. I can steal this. Oh, there's a there's a red connection over here too. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so that's only staying open because it's jammed at the moment. I think I might have to just keep the jammer there. However, with this, I should be able to then bring this round. Okay, so I made this green now. If I connect that and that, I can make that green. That connector there is in the way! The fact that the laser's connecting to that connector in the first place is stopping the green. And that's just gonna break it. I don't wanna just have to run through. There's gotta be a way I can break that, surely. Hmm. Now, maybe I do just run. It stays open long enough. I think I just run, yep. I hope I'm not stuck in here now. <laughs> it's what Yaku would do. He would he would just run. He would see a way to get How's to the end going, honey? and run. Five puzzles down? So far so good. Yeah! Excellent. Calling you honey sounds yeah. weird, doesn't it? It, it yeah, it kind of does. Then what? Darling? <gasps> Sweetheart? Babe? Muffin? Cupcake? Oh, cupcake! Oh, please call him Cupcake. <laughs> Maybe just my name? Oh, you're cute. 
<laughs> Wait, I love that. Yeah, cute. Yeah, you are. All of them. They all are. Either way, I'm. I'm very proud of. I'm very proud of him. I think he's doing a really good job with the puzzles so far. I gotta say. I'm very impressed. He says he's no good at puzzles, but he is just rocking these. The binary paradox. Oh yay! Mm hmm. Ba ba ba. Ba ba. Uh, there is a way to keep it open, probably intended solution, but running is totally valid in your book. Yeah, I, I feel like if it stays open long enough for me to run without, like, glitching through it, then I'm counting it as a valid solution for myself. <laughs> right, what do I even need to do here? Okay, it's cube in there. There is drillable wall up there. I'm guessing that's... Oh no, this isn't the end. This is just... There's another connector. Where do I need to unlock? Where is the end? Hold on. Oh, maybe through here. I don't know where the end is in this level. I'm trying to find where the end is. It's not through there. There is a blue laser there, though. Probably for this? Oh no, we need two for that, though. Hmm. And this is on a pressure plate, and that's... yep. Yep. Okay, ooh! Okay, that opens that laser up there. There's a drill there. Drill spot there. Let's start with drilling up here to get the red laser through. see that directly through there. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So now I can grab this connector. And then I don't need to keep that connected anymore. Oh, but I can use this to connect to the, the red by doing something like that. Oh, this is also a red connector. Hmm. Right, so from here, like, doing that, that breaks the, the laser connection, so I do need to have something on that pressure plate. But... Hmm. I know the blue's in there. Right, what else was in there? There's a fan. Can I? Okay, I cannot take this fan apart. <laughs> it's where the red would be. And then, like, if I go through here, I could do the blue, I'm pretty sure. But only if I, like... Oh, it's getting this out of here. It needs something on the pressure plate. If I could use this as... Oh, I could use this to connect the red. If I connect the red, like, from in here and place it on the button, it, I think it would reach. One way to find out. Oh, no, I don't think I can actually see the red from here. Never mind. Oh yeah, and that's clipping into the wall. Never mind. Not quite. But I will take this drill out. If I could get cube, that would be really nice. Oh, what if I literally just... I'm silly. I'm silly. If I use the connectors to open this so I can get the cube out, then... <laughs> That feels like the most logical solution here. I have two connectors. I can I can connect them both. Oh, that's got like a toe on it and it still counts. Nice. Is 
then I can do like that. And then where's the other drill? Left around here, we don't need that yet. I'll use that to drop on the button. We should have red laser here. Door is open, I have cube. Haha. <laughs> And that's as far ahead as I thought. <laughs> Thank you for cube. Right, so I think the next part is going to be getting the blue around to the connector. And I think that's going to work by getting it with the drill. Like using the drill to drill a hole in here to connect the blue like that. And then getting the red connected from a, a higher point? Mayhap. Um, got this red. If I just do this like that, will that work? I think this will work. Why did I take this off here? I don't know why I took this off here. <laughs> Door is open. Leary has cube. Hand is wind. Head is empty. Baba is robot. Drill is trapped. <laughs> hmm. No, I do still need the drill. Hmm. I need the drill to get to the, the blue. Right, I know this isn't going to work. I'm just going to do it anyway. Even though I know it's not going to work, I'm still just there. There, because one of them needs to be elevated a little bit so they don't interrupt each other like this. But I just used the cube to weigh this down, so... <laughs> oh, I see the end of the level too! It's up there! Okay, okay. I know where it is. <laughs> yeah, cute as you! It is. I, I am you're cute today. Yeah, you're cute. Right, there's got to be a better way I can do this. The fact that an item is always getting stuck in here because of the pressure button, that's the biggest problem right now because I need all these parts. Hmm. reach anything to drill from here and I also can't reach the lasers from here it'd be more fitting if I didn't just inst insta solve step by step I it it may look like I insta solved it I had been spending like a, a big chunk of time on it before the break but I, I don't know I guess I can like clip it in a way that makes it seem like I'm just a genius <laughs> I just stepped in and solved it. Like, yeah, you, you could say I'm good at puzzles. You could say I'm I'm pretty decent. Hmm. Hmm. So there's the drill spot here. Is that literally just? To get into that chamber? I don't know if I need to direct it through that way anymore. I feel like I'm so close I'm just missing like one tiny element. Hmm. I keep 
the red open and don't drill this. Maybe, maybe drilling this was what it wants me to do. Because it's not what I should do. Like, no, there's no way I can reach that. No, there's no way I can reach that otherwise. I've, I've got to go through there. <laughs> Going on vacation resets the timer. You're so right. But I still need to light this up too with the red. The red. Hmm. Oh, I guess if I do it like this, I'll be able to reach it through the hole. Like that, maybe? Oh, maybe, maybe. Oh, this might actually be it. Maybe? Oh no, I need the drill. I need the drill. I don't actually need this cube. I need this cube to be here to push the button down. So I can make hole on button. Connect. No, hold on. There's... Yes, yes. It worked, it worked, I did it. Finally, I feel like that was one I started overthinking. <laughs> but it worked, beautiful. Beautiful. That was definitely an overthinking moment. That was more straightforward than I thought. <laughs> ha! I did it! Yay! Take that, Barzai. I can hear you, you know. <laughs> uh, sorry. It, that was a metaphor? As a metaphor, definitely. Yay! I'm so happy. I love ya cute. <laughs> Cute. I wonder if there's any crabs. Crabs. That's not what I was going to say. I was going to say I wonder if there are any secrets, and then I got distracted by a crab. It's so cute. It's so cute. Look at them. Whoop. Oh, right through my feet. Oh. Oh. Oh, and there's another Barzai thingy. I believe in a creator because I experience a creative force within myself that seems connected to or reflective of something greater, a drive towards being and becoming inherent in the universe itself. The discovery of the theory of everything has not undermined that belief. Yeah. Oh no, uh, to the contrary. I believe that the language of creation reveals a creator who sees no difference at all between mathematics and music, whose suns and planets are notes of a melody, whose galaxies are symphonies. A nebula is a painting, an atom is a machine, and they are all part of a masterpiece. And if I'm mistaken and there is no creator, then the duty of finishing the masterpiece falls to us. I think I already heard that one, but we had to listen to it again, because I don't remember which ones I've listened to or not. <laughs> Also, thank you for adding that as a quote. So I wonder if there are any crabs. Right, that was uh, six. So next we have seven. Uh, the cut-off quandary. Uh, should you tell me if there's a way to tell? Actually, yes, please. If, if there's a way to tell if I've already heard them then i that would probably help me in the long run <laughs> although like i feel like the first ones i saw i just ran into them and it automatically happened so i'm guessing it's like if if there's an option to listen <gasps> yeah if there's a button you've heard it okay yeah that's that's what i may have that's what i, th I thought along the way because i i remember just like running into them and getting the dialogue so i guess if it's like if there's an option to replay it then i've already played it also die oh my goodness hi thank you so much for the the resub for that's the three year mark 
That's the three year mark. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Hi. Welcome, welcome. I'm just, I'm being big brain at the moment. Uh, the big brain moments are a little bit scattered sometimes. But I'm, I'm using every single brain cell that hasn't melted away so far. But welcome, welcome. Oh, thank you so much for the resub. Oh my goodness, there's clones in this one. Oh. Okay, is this like a, a symmetrical level? It's looking like a symmetrical level. But that side has a cube and this side has a jammer. Hmm. Oh, and that has a drill. There's a drill over there. Okay. Okay. Right, what do I need to do? Platform! I can give myself things. Okay. Okay. Red laser. I'm not sure what I need to do to get this down. Is there a connector like above it? Hmm. So it's going all the way down until it hits this, and then there's just like a big block of stone. Hum. Okay, let's, let's have a look from up here. Oh look, I can I can I can see everything from up here. I'm so powerful. I still don't know what I actually have to do here. Hold on. <laughs> there's just there's gates all around, so do I need to get up? Or is there a way to bring the gates down? I'm not seeing any... Any receivers or anything, so I'm... Hmm. Like, I have a cube. There's a receipt There's a connector on each side. Connector there, connector there. There's a jammer on this side. And... Drill and platform on this side. Do I need to climb up there somehow? If I go up this way, will I see anything different? No, I'm wondering, I think I might just have to enter from the top and fall down. There's just bars all the way along. So how the heck could I do that? Like, what would happen if I did that? Hmm. Okay, drill, drill. Plenty of drill hoppers. Wow, this is the first time I've genuinely been confused as to what I have to do, first of all. I'm probably missing something really obvious. <laughs> What happens if... What can I even jam? I feel like it's just the... The fans. Hmm. I could just pass everything through to one side. Oh my goodness, I don't know what I'm doing. I wish I could see in there. See what's going on in there in this little laser column. Oh, actually, what if? What if I go up on a cube? I'll use the jammer. Jam the fan if I can. Yes. Okay, fan is jammed. We'll go here. I'll stand on here. Oh, should I take the connector with me? Maybe I should. And then I'll switch back to me over here. Let's unjam it. Oh, look, I'm so high up. Look at that. I can 
can see everything from here, but I still don't know what I'm doing. Huh. What am I doing from here? I don't see any receivers or anything. I'm... <laughs> Maybe I'm just blind. Unless I have to, like, block the laser somehow. Oh, I might have to block the laser, so I'd need to put, like, a connector on each side to, like, make a line through it. Okay, I think I did that wrong. Hold on. Can we jam it again? I can't see. Okay. Take control. Just putting this up normally. <laughs> I'll take the jammer so I can jam that one. Now, um, you, you, can, you can have that. Now take control on this side, and then if I can get this, connect it, put it on, I can't put it on the platform like this. I need myself to put it on the platform, I think. Can I put this on my platform? I'm too far away. I don't think I can put that on. Oh, I can if I move the drill. <laughs> That's the jammer. That's not the drill. I'm a silly Billy. Jam it up here. I bet I can put it on top. I go like this. Can't see myself. Where am I? Where, where is my... Oh, I'm, I'm right in the corner. Okay. Might as well go here. And I'll go here. Now I can put this connector on top of myself and through here. But I, I can't... Come on, please. I can't. I can't place it on. Wait, there was a there was a cube. I need to do this side first because I need cube. I need to do this side first because I need cube. To reach high enough. To be able to put the connector on top. <laughs> okay. Connector. Yes! Yes, I did it! Okay. And now I connect this connector to that connector. Put cube on here. Put this on here. I think I'm doing it. I think I'm cooking. That's all connected now. I can unjam that and jam this one. Oh, goodness. It'll let me. Okay, that one's up there. Now let's send the other one up there with... Uh, me, me. Make sure I'm in a spot where I can see myself from up there. Yes. And now we bring this one up this way. Oh, I've got to unjam it. I'm so silly. That's okay. I'm in position. So now I can unjam. I will go flying up. Oh, no, I do need to connect it to the laser. Hold on. Let's actually make it block. Okay. No, I can't do that from this side. After everything I went through to keep that up there, I cannot do that from this side. I can from here, and then I do that, and that, and that. And now... And it worked! Hey! I did it! I did it. <laughs> It's cute. I was aiming at the cube with the jammer. I'm just like, freeze. 
This is a stick up. I did it. That was cool. That was cool. That was like the first one where I didn't immediately know what I had to do, but it was fun figuring it out. That was great. So how does this coconut taste to you? It's taste. kind of wooden, very crunchy. Hmm. Oh. Did humans just have weird taste, or is this some function of subjectivity? <gasps> Without more precise data about the human brain, how do we even know this is what uh. they experienced when they tasted a coconut? Bloody qualia. Uh. I think you're supposed to have the inside. No, oh, but I like the crunchy bit. Yeah. Does it matter what it tasted like to them? We want yeah. to expand the horizons of human experience, not recreate them. It's about mm. what it tastes like the to girl us. Has a point. One k. Let's try eating sand. <laughs> Yuck. I'm so glad. Yes, let's try eating sand. It's the kind of thing I did as a child. I have a very, very fond memory of... Um, well, I don't have the memory. I have the memory of being told about it. Apparently, when I was a toddler, I would have only been like two years old or something. I went to the beach for the first time. I went on holiday to the beach for the first time and I picked up a handful of sand and then proceeded to eat it and so of course my parents were rushing over to me trying to clear all the sand out of my mouth just like getting it all out of my mouth while I was going tear, 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 tear. I finally got all the sand out of my mouth they sat me back down on the beach and I did the exact same thing again I took another handful of sand and crammed it in my mouth I did not learn <laughs> And that's the story of how I don't learn from my mistakes. I just keep doing them. <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was such cool puzzle design, though. That I really love that one. That was so clever. I love the fast travel options, too. Like, the fact that there's the little information boards is such a nice touch. It's so nice. Right, let's do puzzle number eight. Check it out. Uh, the mechanical gyre? 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 I think it would be gyre. Eight. I know what a gyroscope is, so it's probably similar to that. Right, what happens if I do that? Yep, there we go. Round it goes. That opens that. And then that needs red. Which I think, like, if I position it carefully enough, I might be able to just stick it here, maybe. Oh, not quite, not from this angle. Hmm. Oh wait, no, what I can do is I can bring this out and just connect this way easier. Like that. And then bring this one around. And just do that, like that. Oh, I need blue as well. Oh, okay, never mind. My hubris. My hubris in presuming it would be that simple. Of course it's not. What is through here? Ah, oh, Jammer! Hmm. I guess I can use the Jammer on this one. And I don't actually have to use this. Hmm. And then I need to be red, so I need blue. There's the blue. And here's the red. Right, let's let's spin this again. Oh, hello! Now it's a door. Now it's a drillable wall. And then that's just the blind wall. Okay, let's let's go to the go to the gate here. Right, 
how do I open this? A red and a blue. Yes. I can do this. Then I'm not going to be able to bring this around, am I? So that's going to close that. Yeah. I, I do still need this open. Hmm. Oh, but jammer. Maybe I can figure out a way to use the jammer somehow. Oh, if I open this door, I'll use this to open this door. So I don't need the jammer for that, and then I'll use the jammer for the one that's there. <laughs> so then I'll be able to bring this through. Ha 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 ha! Now everything's on this side. Take that. Right. Now I'm doing that and that. And that. Don't know how I would get the blue from there though. But I could also do that and I've, I've still got that open. But I, I do, do I really need that open? Maybe not at the moment. But what do I need around here? I need red. Ha ha! Well, I'm pretty sure that if I position this here, that will hit everything that needs to be red. And so now, I have a drill. With the drill, we can use the drillable wall. Oh look, it's still connected to it, so it's like under the ground now. Nice. Use the drill as a way to get to that red. Without having to use the jammer. Let's jam this for now. Right, I don't need that open anymore. This to be red and blue, so I think if I literally just like do the red like uh, like I had it for a second. Where was it? I had it for a split second. Where is that angle? There it is. Go like that. Then that e leads to there. And I can do that open up there and I can bring the jammer out. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, nope. I've got to keep the door open. I'm silly. I've got to also connect this to there. Now I've lost the angle. The jammer being in the way. There we go. That makes it easier. And so now I can bring the jammer out. I'm still not- I, I don't remember where I'm actually going, where the end is. Oh, it's- yeah, there it is. And so now I just need to figure out a way out. Which I can do with the gate. Again. Oh no, I left those in there. Oh, I'm so silly. I'm so silly. I hope I haven't broken it completely. I can still fix this. Yes. I need to bring this back out. that and now now we make it to the gate and I go boop 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 and boop 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 I bring out my jammer and I did it that's a really nice one that's a really good way of like including all of the the puzzle tools and the mechanics 
in a really nice sequence. Byron, that was nice. If you want to talk to Alcatraz, he's free right now. Oh. Sure, um, I'll see if I can find him. Byron, you need to stop putting you know, yourself. funny. Uh. Alcatraz said the same thing the other day. No, they're it's avoiding each like other. It's almost like you two are avoiding each other. <laughs> they are. They're avoiding each other. Stop it. Stop it. Also new interface content too. New social media post and a new family photo. <gasps> Melville took a photo of a mango and you can actually recognize it's a mango. I am so proud. A perplexing fruit. This is a mango. Our ancestors were divided on whether they were enjoyably fresh and sweet, or, in Trevor's words, a fruit invented by the devil and released in pre-alpha. Apparently you can put them into something called a curry? Throwing them is fun. Shane Pellegrino isn't here. <laughs> I love Melville. I love that her photos are still out of focus every time. Beautiful. Also, one thing I want to say as well that I keep forgetting to mention because I'm listening to the dialogue. I love how when there's the dialogue stuff, it comes up with family underneath their names. Like, there's obviously like a, a family group that everyone's talking in, and it makes me so happy to see it every time. Just like, yes, I love this family. I'm here for this family. I love it. New Atlantis? Really? Ooh. Look, I'm all in favor of building the underwater city, but do we really have to call it New Atlantis? Isn't that just tempting fate? The universe has a pretty dark sense of humor, you know. We shouldn't provoke it. Uh, Atal says, I don't think it matters what we call it, as long as we build it right. The universe doesn't care. Uh, we all voted Zimmy, and New Atlantis won. At least we're not calling it Rapture, like Pellegrino suggested. I don't think he got the point of that game. Oh my goodness. Uh, everything I'm hearing from Pellegrino, I'm like, Pellegrino has really gone off the deep end here. I'm <laughs> it's a little worrying. <sighs> but I like New Atlantis though. Yeah, I love that it's the family group chat. It makes me so happy. All right, names are just names. I like it. It's time to give the myth a new meaning. Or I also think it's kind of a terrible name. No, I think I like this one. I like it. It's time to give the myth a new meaning. Like if it's connected to something negative, we can make it something positive, right? I like that. I like it. That's a lovely way of putting it, Yakut. You should speak up more often. Oh, thank you. I will try my best. Right, so that is eight puzzles done, which is probably enough for the bridge, I saw, question mark. But there's ten puzzles here, so I must do them. Right, here's the board. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then there's the the lost quote-unquote puzzle back here. And the gate. Alright, so let's go for the lost puzzle. It's gonna be... past here. around the back of this one. Yeah, it's over here. Bum, bum, bum. The auxiliary... The auxiliary factor. Nice. Right, let's have a look. Okay, RGB converter. We've got a connector. We've got a, a ladder. That's... <laughs> Promising start in case I get myself trapped, I suppose. Okay. Right, what do I need to make here? Okay, so there's that's where the green needs to be. So I need blue and red. To connect to there. I can reach the blue. And then I'm guessing I can use this. To connect red and blue. Oh, that's gonna block that from here. Red and blue to make green? Do I just do it like that? Oh no, I, I need I need it to be red. Oh I need the normal connect. <laughs> I need the normal connector over this side, but oh,
Hmm. I do that, that's gonna close that gate. Let's go. Blue and red makes green. Green and red makes blue. Oh, hold on. I've got an idea. green like that and then from here if I then do mm. no I'm gonna break that as soon as I do it because then I'm like if I do green green and red that makes it blue and it would connect to there but then I lose the blue from this to the blue out here. Like that. Still not getting around to the green. Or oh, to the red, though. Oh, yeah, I could probably do it in here. Just have this door open. Hold on, hold on. Got this door open. We've got... Blue and red make green. But green and red make blue. That's now being kept open by that. I can take the regular connector. Oh no, but the, the green's on the wrong side. Ha! I need the green to be accessible. Hmm. I can't reach the green like this. Oh, I can use the windows too, I guess. Hold on. Yeah, let's go. Blue. And red. Is there a way I can connect these like this? No, I can't see both of them like this. Hmm. Reach the red like that. Oh, I guess I could then just go blue, blue, blue. Oh, I don't want that one still connected to there. Okay, yeah, I've just made that one green now. But I, I need the green here, so I still need blue and red, so this doesn't quite work. Oh, it might work! No, I can't reach that red. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's... I'm, I'm gonna bring them all back over this side as, as well. Wait, where did I just drop it? <laughs> I can't see. That's okay. Right, I need a way I can connect the green around to here, so if... <sighs> if I can get a green here, that would be... ideal. I just, I'm just gonna connect that to the red for now. Not very quickly. Blue 
blue and red make green? I've just immediately like got a green here. But unless I can get the normal connector around, that is no use. So can I... I can't reach the red like this is the problem. And connect to the green, but I can't get the red and also make it blue in a way which then won't get blocked. Oh no, wait, hold on. I literally just put it like here. Then maybe? No, I can't reach the red like this still. It's that no the yeah because the red's cutting in front of the green again then so it doesn't it doesn't work Ugh. red and green makes blue oh no wait i was i was connecting the wrong thing i think yeah red green blue no, it, it, it is still the wrong way around. Hmm. Blue and green make red. <laughs> ah. I feel like this is the kind of puzzle I should be able to solve really quickly, but the heat has melted my brain. <laughs> but it's okay. I, I feel like I'm... I'm making good progress still. Even if I am just repeating the same things over and over at the moment. I think I, I need to remember I can use that ladder too. I can come back and forth with the ladder. Right. Like red plus blue equals green. That's what I need for this point. This one over here, this green, I need this to be connected to red and blue. I don't think I can reach the red from this angle, though. So I somehow need to point a red and a blue at that. And I also need this door open with blue. I feel like I'm on the right track with trying to make red plus green equals blue on the outside here to open this door without using the connector and then I'll be able to use the connector to go around. I'm just... Hmm. Oh, hold on. Unless I wonder if I can just... No, because that's going to shut. So if I take this away, this door's going to shut, but I guess I could still get a blue around? Doing it like this. Doing it through here, because then I could use the ladder to get over, but... I needed a different way around, I think. I okay, I'm opening this again. I'm, I'm figuring out my way I managed to set this up to get the blue open here. It, uh, red plus blue equals green. Oops. Like that. And then use this one and do red plus green equals blue. Red plus green equals blue. Sneak that in here, because then I can bring the connector through. I think I need the connector on this side. So now from here, 
No, I closed it too soon, I think. From here, I can do that. And this is connected to the blue. Let, let me try this. It's connected to the blue in a way that I can now reach through that gap. So I think if I then do, do green, oh no, because it's... But because that's the, the dual one, it needs another laser to connect to it. So I wonder if I do that. Okay, I made that green. But I need that to be blue, ideally. If I do that, I've made this blue. It's not the one I need blue. I need this, but the opposite way around. <laughs> How have I done this? I need this, but the opposite way, and then I've solved it. I did it the wrong way around. How do I, how do I fix this? Huh. I think I do need this open. Is the problem? I, I need, I need to open this door. I don't know if I can anymore. I think I may have soft locked it because I've got the, the connector on this side. I have no way to open this because I can't make a green. Oopsie. Oopsie daisy. Wait, I... Oh, something... Oh, no, it's it's the thing. I, I was like, oh, there's something blinking out here. It is the thing. Right, what's the reset? Is it... A restart checkpoint. I hope it's restart checkpoint. <laughs> right, anyway, I think I nailed that one. Yes, there we go. Restart. Let's keep going. Oh, X, that's the button. I knew there was a button for resetting. I just couldn't remember which one it was. <laughs> okay, it's X. I did not remember. I was like, I knew there was a button for resetting, but I couldn't remember, so I was like, I'm just gonna go in the menu, that's fine. It's like, it's so easy to make the green back here. Where I don't need it. I need the connector. I need the connector so I can... Oh. If this, if this green is red. I don't want red. Why did I do that? Green plus red is blue. That connects it like that. That keeps this door open so I can bring the connector through, but... It's not helpful. not where I need things to be. Right, let's try. See, now that is green. And I don't need it to be green. I need it to be something else. And I clearly need to use the connectors to eventually make the green. Oh wait, hold on. No, I think I can do it from here. Maybe. No, not quite. Not quite. So I was like, maybe if I move this down a bit, I can connect to both of these, which I can do. But then it's blocking that red. I 
Why is the red around such a corner? It's so annoying. Hmm. So I place this here, I can't reach the red. That doesn't work. Do this. If I can just shoot a green into that. get that at the right angle to get the red and the blue from there unless I open this again with the blue so then if I did that and I managed to set it up in front of the door like this then I would be able to use connector to connect two green and get in that way. But if I try and connect it with the red and the blue like this again, I'm blocking off the green. Once I make the blue, it's on the wrong side to keep this door open. Like I, I, I make it like, I go blue and, wait, no, I go like red and green makes blue. That's great. If I place it this side so I can reach the green, I can't reach the open the door button. If I put it this side... Hold on, unless... Mm. I don't think I can make it like self-sustaining like this, I don't think. Sadly. It's like I just need a way to get that green out. Huh. Huh. I need to figure out a way to get the, the, the green around. Unless I literally use this to like extend the red over to the side like this. Because then I'd be able to reach the red and the blue, like, so long as the door stayed open. Hmm, I'm not sure what I'm doing in my head here. <laughs> uh... Take that one away. reach the, the red. I need the red. I need a way to extend the red out. Or just to bring this green over. Like if, if, I, if I could just bring the green over I'd be set. But I can't. Hmm. Oh unless I hold on. red makes green. Can I make that in a way where I can see it through this window? I wonder. Okay, I can do it like that. I think I, I should be able to see through the window like that. I think. Right, so that is green. So then if I do 
blue plus green? That makes red. No, that's not what I need. However, what would happen if I break that? These just break as well. If I then go blue plus red... I made that green. <sighs> made it green on that side now, but... I don't think I'll be able to reach anything. I, I need I need a red on that side as well. So I need this over on that side. So wait, I can do that. I can do that. I think I know what to do. I think I know what to do. Maybe. I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna pray. I might be able to keep that open as well. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, doors open. Doors open. Okay, I think I'm doing it, maybe. Right, because that's green, so that's not the one we need, but... It's like blocking blocking this out now. That's, that's connected like that. If I connect this here like this, and I'll go back around here. That one just needs a blue become green why is it oh it's it's because it is going for this laser as well hold on i don't actually want it going for this laser that's the problem also cow st lou hello and also timochi welcome 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 in i'm i'm like my brain is full of lasers at the moment my brain is full of lasers i'm, I'm cute little old me oh thank you well, welcome! Welcome to me slowly losing my mind over lasers. It's very fun. It's very fun. I'm actually enjoying it a lot. <laughs> but, ah... Uh, yeah, if I can get the connector over this side now, I'm set. But to do that, I need this door open. get this door open, I need red. I need access to the red. Hmm. As soon as I pick this up, the door's gonna close, so I... <laughs> blue makes red. I need to make blue for here. So I need green and red to connect to the blue, but I don't think I can place that in a way where I can see them all. Oh. Okay, but that, the door doesn't stay open for this. Hold on, I need to break this. Okay, opened it again. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's getting broken by this one now. You can go away. Yeah, I took away the green now, so that doesn't open that anymore. Never mind. Ha. Huh. That one's gonna be green, so green and red make blue. You will be green, I swear it. I swear it. I connect all of these blue. Many blue. All of the blue connecting. Oh, and I'm gonna break that red, aren't I? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna break the red. I'm gonna do it this side. I do that. There. There, that's blue. That's blue, that's keeping that open. Ah. But that's also how I'm providing the blue here, huh? Ugh. I 
can't reach that blue. I can't reach that blue because it's going to break that. me. If I could just see that red, it would be so easy. Yeah, now this is red. Oh, I broke this. Yay. Okay. Okay. Oh, I just did this one in game see if the solution was what you remembered. Oh, I'm... I feel like I'm going around in circles a little bit at the moment. I definitely feel like I'm in the overthinking kind of phase because one, it's getting late and two, it is very warm. It, uh, oh yeah, it's, it's officially reached 30 degrees Celsius in my bedroom. So it's, it's a little toasty at the moment. It's a little bit warm. Like the fact that there's a window here means I clearly have to use this window and I'm guessing for the red. Hmm. Right, what if... I just connect this to the red and nothing else? And then... This one I do red plus blue green. I think I can see it from this angle. Hold on. Like, I'm putting this like way in the corner now. Like here. And I'm wondering now if I can pick this up. Connect it with this. Like that. Okay, I've made that blue now in there. I made this blue. I don't think I can bring it round properly, though. From the angle I'm at. Oh, unless I... I wonder if I can do it, like, this way around? I'm gonna block the blue if I do this, though, I think. Like, I can do it like this, and then it's, it is blue. I've made a blue laser, but it's very dependent on this door being open. take that the door's gonna close that's broken and it doesn't work so <laughs> hmm. dabba dee dabba die red plus green is blue Okay, that's keeping all of them in there now. But they are, it's also very dependent on all of these staying right where they are right now. But I do have the connector over this side now, and I think now... 
Now that I have this, if I just set this up in a way where I know that'll reach the door, I can probably play around with these a little easier. I just need to get a green out here now. Blue. Red. Yeah, I can't see them. Oh, but I can I can use a connector that's in there to make the red temporarily. Hold on, let me try this. Let me try this. Oh, so this is the fan on max speed. Yeah, I've, I've got it on like the maximum speed at the moment. I, it's it's not the fastest fan in the world. <laughs> but oh, thank you for the hydrate too. I, I almost missed that. Let me have a sippy. It is very warm. I must hydrate. Right, but if I use this to now like extend the red out a little bit. Like this. I just need a way to get blue. Oh wait, no, I can do this. If I do this like this. And I bring the red in front of the door. I can then use the red here, yes. Maybe, maybe. No, because I made this green from the inside. Doesn't work for there, I still need a blue for that. Ha! Um, uh, hold on. Yeah, I can't reach the blue because the door's shut. Like, red plus green equals blue. But, yeah, I'm not, I'm not connected to enough. Lasers to make it work. It doesn't work because only, only the one is connected to the blue here. So to make that work, I need to use the connector. to make it green in the first place. And then all I have is another connector, so I, I can't reach the blue, so it doesn't work. I need to make that blue somehow. I don't even know if I can do that. If I take that... Hmm. Go like this. Also, yeah, I, I gotta hydrate just, uh... A couple of minutes ago. <laughs> Can I do that? Now that's blue. Uh. Yeah, hold on. Let me let me see what I can play around with on this side. I I think I may be in the Brain has decided to stop working for now. Good night, kind of moment. <laughs> I cannot Maybe. think. Maybe it is true. I cannot think. I wish I could, but alas, the brain is not here. Yeah, tell you what I'll do. I've, I'll leave this one to come back for it. Maybe I'll have another genius moment where I step away and go back and just instantly solve it. But I'm gonna go to make the bridge thingy. Make bridge? Is it bridge to area two? Maybe? Okay, so it's this way. Oh yeah, it's, it's the big, big glowy over there. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I can do this at least. Let's make a Tetris bridge. <laughs> and I'll return to that one when when it's not almost 1am and my brain isn't mush. Oh, hello! Wait, there's a palm reader? Hello. <gasps> Stuff! The jest of the gods. Once, uh, once, the older gods had need of laughter. 
Therefore they made the soul of a king and set in it ambitions greater than kings should have, and lust for territories beyond the lust of other kings, and in this soul they set strength beyond the strength of others, and fierce desire for power and a strong pride. Then the gods pointed earthward and sent that soul into the fields of men to live in the body of a slave. And the slave grew, and the pride and lust for power began to arise in his heart, and he wore shackles on his arms. Then in the fields of twilight the gods prepared to laugh. These gods are messed up. But the slave went down to the shore of the great sea, and cast his body away and the shackles that were upon it, and strode back to the fields of twilight, and stood up before the gods and looked them in their faces. This thing the gods, for when they had prepared to laugh, had not foreseen. Lust for power burned strong in that king's soul, and there was all the strength and pride in it that the gods had placed therein, and he was too strong for the older gods. He whose body had borne the lashings of men could brook no longer the dominion of the gods, and standing before them he bade the gods to go. Up to their lips leapt all of the anger of the older gods, beings for the first, uh, being for the first time commanded. But the king's soul faced them still, and their anger died away, and they averted their eyes. Then their thrones became empty, and the fields of twilight bare as the gods slunk far away. But the soul chose new companions. Okay. Thank you, Lord Dunsany. And next is the God of Jests. The old gods did not look kindly upon the God of Jests, for he was a slight thing, not mighty and terrible as they were, but small and weak and subtle. He knew nothing of thunder and floods, and yet uh, less yet of fire and ice. To the great symphony of creation he contributed only a single note, and nearly fell over himself during the grand finale. The god of jests did not complain about their contempt, but laughed at himself instead. The old gods made galaxies and suns and planets. They shattered continents and brought forth raging seas, and then they made wild beasts with scales and horns to roam the land. Look upon what we have made, they said to the god of jests. What can you make that is its equal? So the god of jests took a crude monkey and gave it thoughts and language, and taught it to learn new things, and he was proud of his creation. The old gods laughed at this creature and sent their creations to destroy it, and the little monkey was easily slain. Behold, they said to the god of jests, your creation is no more. Now the god of jests bent down and whispered in the ear of his fallen creature, and it rose from the dead, and behold, in death it had learned the language of the gods. The old gods protested that this was against the rules they had established, but the god of jests showed them the one exception to the rule they had allowed, the one note he had contributed to their creation, because they had not considered it important. The punchline of a joke did not have to be consistent with reality. <laughs> And so the creature that was to be called human undid the old gods and scattered their names to the winds and conquered their creation. And the god of jests laughed to himself and said, they should not have killed my monkey. <laughs> what a good god. I love that. Nice. Nice. I'm glad I spotted that. All right, back around here. Back around here we go. I am so ready to make a Tetris bridge. Here we go. Okay. You've got this, Yakut. Oops. 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 Not quite. Oh no, we don't want to do a little wiggle that way. Okay, uh... Let's start with this. Then we can use this and go... Oh. No, I'm going in the wrong direction. How do I, how do I use this square one? Oh my goodness. Also, it feels so much louder than than it was before, and I'm not sure why. Oh hey, look, you're a sideways one. Look at that. I can do that. Oh, no, wrong way. This one first? No. OK, 
Okay, well this is a sideways one, so I let's start with that. Let's bring in the sideways one. Bring this over, bring this over. There we go. Haha. <laughs> First try. Yeah, even the water seems louder. It does. It just everything just suddenly feels deafening. Like I pause it and go to the pause menu, listen to how quiet the music is next to the game. Like it just suddenly gets so loud. But that's fine. It just makes it dramatic. Let's do that, and then we'll do a little wiggle in this direction. No, we, we will not do a little wiggle in that direction. And we'll do this one. And then we'll do a little wiggle in this direction, and then we'll go boom. Got him! I got it! Oh, Yakut, you're so smart and clever and handsome. Oh, and there's a little fast travel. Nice! Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm pulling the lever. Laser? Laser! Yes! You've activated the first lighthouse. Oh yeah. Well done. Two more to go. I'm so smart. I'm so proud of him. He's so clever. He's so clever. Also, yeah, the I, the Tetris bridges have always been like super intense and stuff, but for some reason that one just felt even louder than usual. <laughs> right, and now we've got green. I wonder if we can activate this Pandora. Can I literally just... Oh, I wish I could connect to that green. I don't think it'll let me. Right, how can I get a green here? Which puzzle was it that had the... Hold on. Which one was... Uh... That one doesn't have a green. Does this one have a green? This one has a green. This one has a green. I bet we can get a green from this puzzle. Oh, and all the doors are open now as well. I forgot about that. <laughs> I bet we can make a green. Oh, I need to... I do need to jam the fan, though. I bet I can get a green from here to do that Pandora statue. Please let me jam the fan. There we go. Um, um. Boop. Right, where was the... Where was the double connectee Are you around here? No, that's where the cube is. Okay, that stays down now, thank you. Now that I've solved the puzzle. Where was the dual connector thing? Have I just... I, I may have just... Did I just run past it? Oh, yeah, it's, just, it's right in here. Okay. Right, so blue and red, I can make... I can make a green. And I'm not sure where Pandora is in relation to me right now. Yeah, she's like sideways along here. So if I can set something up in this puzzle room... Like, I can get so much height in this puzzle room. There's, there's gotta be a way. has to be a way I can connect into that room. Like, if I get high enough. I am sure of it. Alright. Keep going, please. Thank you. <laughs> I, was, I was jumping too fast. I fell off. And now we get cube. much height as possible. <laughs> right, I can definitely connect to there. It's just a question of if I can figure out a way I can see this from that other puzzle room. Let's see. 
Let's see, there are a lot of trees in the way. Hit reach. Hit reach. It does reach, but it's getting blocked. By the wall. Maybe I can fix that. We move it over tiny bit. Put it here? Oh no, I, I clicked away from it. I'm so... I clicked off it. I, I, I left clicked instead of right click. I can see the, the purple from there, so I'm gonna just put it like here. I'll try again. I can definitely do this. <laughs> I'm clever and smart, and I, I don't forget which buttons press, honest. Okay, that. Yes, it worked! Yes. I did it. I did it. Yes. Boom. Kind of a shame there aren't any cool aphorisms for collecting stars. <laughs> Maybe I should come up with my own. He who questions training only trains himself at asking questions. Nailed it. Perfect. He, he got it spot on without even realizing. I'm so proud of him. Oh, this is great. I, what time is it? It is... It's almost one, so I probably should come off soon. Mostly because it's really warm as well. But before I do, I do remember seeing... this fella. I want to know what's going on with Mighty Prometheus. Find my sprite and follow it until it leads you back to me. Right. That's that's like way off over in that direction. Never mind. I'll leave that until later. <laughs> but uh... Oh, crab. What a good crab. But yeah, I guess next is going to be the puzzles in this area. Ooh, there's a lot more. This is a lot less of a sandy beach than the other one. There's a lot more growing on this beach. Very interesting. Right, green area done, except for a little bit. So next time we will start with this area. But I think that was a fruitful session. I'm still, I still kind of don't believe that I walked into that puzzle after the break and just solved it. Like I, I, a little part of me is still just here. Like, did, it, did I really just do that? <laughs> but I'm feeling proud of myself. The power of blocking off lasers to make others connect. I love the laser puzzles. I think all of the puzzles with lasers involved end up being like my favorite it's like my favorite mechanic in the game but yeah i think that's a good spot to leave it off at for now though because i i definitely need to try and cool my room down it is so warm so with that i shall bloop i'll head on over to here and we can find a raid target let's see who is live to send a raid over to but yes thank you so much everyone for joining me today i'm so sorry for like the the periods of zoned out silence where I'm my my head was just full of lasers and nothing else <laughs> but it was fun I love this game so much I'm, I'm really excited to play more oh it's so good I'm very excited I'm also really excited for the third part because I've heard from so many people that the puzzles in that are just horrendous in the best way <laughs> and I'm excited for that but yes, oh, I know who I'm going to raid. I'm going to raid Geist. Geist is live, playing uh, Cube Escape, Rusty Lake. I love these games. I love these games so much. I'm going to send you over to Geist. But uh, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. Here is the raid message. If you're subbed, we shall bongo. If you're not subbed, we will send hearts. And I will send you over to the Space Ghostess with the Mostest. 
who's doing some Rusty Lake uh, Cube Escape puzzling on... Oh, Cube Escape birthday. I think we're going to be entering at a great time. Yeah, this is a great time to, to enter the stream. I'm very excited. But yes, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. I'm sorry if I've been a little more spacey than usual. The the heat is really sapping my energy at the moment. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm powering through. The power of the fan. I'm so glad I did decide to turn my fan up towards the end, because I, I don't think I would have survived without it. <laughs> like, even with my fan on full blast, my room is still... 30 degrees Celsius? It, it's ridiculous. And next week is also going to be warm, so I'm just fully dreading it, but I'm hoping it'll cool down after that. I hope. Maybe. But yes, let's get this raid set up. I will send you over to Geist playing some Rusty Lake Cube Escape. Playing Cube Escape birthday at the moment. Maybe we should wish her a happy birthday. <laughs> But yes, that is it from me for now. I will have my schedule up for next week at um at some point tomorrow when I become functional, maybe. <laughs> but uh, it's probably going to be a, a very, a very uh, predictable week, like a uh, twofold Tuesday, Divinity Friday, Talos Sunday. I don't know if I'm going to stream on Wednesday yet. It depends on the temperatures. If it ends up being super warm again, I will probably choose not to stream on Wednesday because the streaming really makes my room very, very warm. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll decide tomorrow. I'll have a look at the weather forecast. But yes, that is it from me for now. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. And until next time, bye-bye.